Welcome to another episode of High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons here on the Yogscast Twitch and on High Rollers D&D Twitch as well. I am your dungeon master as always, Mark Sherlock Humes. Welcome, friends! Ha! Oh, oh, oh. uh, <laughs> great to see you. Welcome back. We've got everybody here joining me this week. Everybody's here. Rhiannon, <laughs> Chris Rock, and with a fresh do, it's Kim Richards. A very happy, yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy New Year! Happy New Year uh, as well. Go Steve, Fat Chai. Fat Chai, yeah, that yeah, bit. There you go. I can say it. Tom, hello oh, Katie, oh, joins us again, back from New York, hello. back from holiday, uh, ready to play. Um, hey. Hi. 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 Hi, <laughs> hi friends. Hi. Hope everyone's good hi. and ready. A uh, couple of kick things before we do the recap. Kick things. Kick things. Kick things. Um, <laughs> today we are kick sponsored things. by our lovely friends D&D Beyond. Oh, yeah, we are. And Chris Trott, I'm already dreading this. Oh, Chris Trott, yeah. tell us about D&D Shit, Beyond. I forgot. I will happily tell you about D&D Beyond. But mm -hmm. some people have mentioned that they struggle to hear the important and impressive features that D&D Beyond provides because my voice is a little too low and monotonous. Mm -hmm. So no. to those people, I say, I hear you. I will take all critiques seriously and will make adjustments for today's sponsor message. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> wow, D&D Beyond is the best digital tool set for 5th edition D&D. Why not head to dndbeyond.com now and create a few character using the basic rules? What if you're confused? D&D, <laughs> like well, D&D Beyond have a fantastic new player's card that you'll sort you right out. What's your hook? So what more? Easily browse all the terrifying monsters. Why is he being Australian? I don't understand where that is coming happens. from. It's just what happens. What your spells and unique <laughs> items you could come across. There's no reason not to mess around and see what crazy creations you can come up with. DDBeyond.com. Oh, it's like a gnome. It's like a type of gnome is coming. The sponsor gnome. The sponsor gnome. Oh, no. Sponsor gnome. <laughs> it's like slowly going to go back. Anyway, come back. I'll do it till I pass out. <laughs> well, don't, please don't. Um, That's my helium limit. Just, to, just as a behind the scenes thing, as I was coming into the gaming yeah. room, I was like, why is there like a gas tank out the front? Like, who, what is that doing there? Came in and then we just saw Trot bring it in. He and just put walked it in the with a balloon like, oh. and was just like, terrified. So, this is your life now. 
Uh, well, thank you, Chris. Oh, Frant. Thank you, D&D Beyond, oh. um, for all the wonders. <laughs> <laughs> if, I need to, if I need to play any Pixies, can I borrow that later? Yeah, sure. Oh my god! Oh, god. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, a couple of other quick announcements Ooh, I wanted I really to say. I really want you to do a Smeek voice with the No, video. no. Damn it! Smeek is dead. Also, no. Yeah, forever. well, he is. But he go is Smeek. Double uh, dead. A couple of quick things. Thank you for checking out Chaos Twins last week. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tom and Rhiannon. God, that was so much fun. Um, was what are you going to be playing this week, Tom and Rhiannon, oh. on Chaos Twins? Well, last time when we played Sonic Adventure, we said we were going to stick with that for months. We're not. <laughs> Turns out, game's pretty jank. Chaos <laughs> Twins! Chaos reigns here! What are we playing this week? On Tuesday. Spore, guys. We're going to play Spore. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, who's that by again? Uh, oh, Will, 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 yeah. Will Wright. Is that him? Yeah, Will Wright. Yeah. Will Wright. Sure. Beautiful Spores. We're going to play his Take spores. a look at my beautiful spores. Take a look at my beautiful <laughs> spores. I dread to think what you're going to make. Yeah. <laughs> make some uh, real, real when is, when is that stream? That is Tuesdays at 8 p.m. until sometime. <laughs> Whenever yeah. we feel like That's fine. We feel like just a start yeah. time is what you need. 8 p.m. I yeah. remember when that game came out and everyone just made penis monsters. Yeah. We're going to do something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then the really studio started complaining. They were like, everyone made penises. And it's like, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what um, did you really expect yeah. here? So that's Chaos Twins. You can check that out. Uh, that's coming up. That's part of our... We're going to slowly start doing more uh, additional content. Mm -hmm. We've got some ideas for some one shots that we need to find a day for as well. Um, a couple of other quick things. Two things for me, very personal, like little personal things. One is my very first professionally published adventure Ooh. has now been announced. Oh! oh. oh. It's a My Ooh. Little Pony adventure in Tales of Equestria. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's available for pre order from the River Horse website now. Uh, it's called The Pony Party. Oh, dear um, and God. it's part of their uh, anthology adventures, uh, uh, which you can check out. Yeah. Um, it references a, a very popular cult movie that is a very grown up movie. <laughs> And I, I made it a very big reference to The Prestige. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's it's find it. A pony sure? gets trapped in a glass cage. Um, oh. And then the other thing I just wanted to briefly mention this isn't sponsored. This is me just doing it because he's somebody who's uh, been very supportive of stuff I've done in the past. But a guy called Sly Flourish. Um, oh, nice. Uh, oh, yeah. He's uh, producing a new adventure called The Ruins of Grendel Root, which he did send me a free copy for. Look at that root. So, really, really <laughs> yeah. cool. If you want to support cool people nice. making cool third party DD stuff, yes. Sly Flourish's stuff is really good. Mm -hmm. I use his uh, Lazy DMs guide. Oh, man. Well. Yeah, I read that too. Yeah, it's really good. I'm so uh, lazy, I'm DMs. <laughs> so, so, I just wanted to give that a quick shout out as well. Um, I think that's it for me. Anything else? January sale merch. on merch. January sale on merch is still on. She's back. She's back. <laughs> She's back for merch yeah. promos. Merch. And also, um, we are working on. So the way that we're doing our new merch system is we're going to be doing sort of seasonal yes. additions. So we're already working on our spring collection and our summer collections. So we're trying to get really ahead and bring some really cool stuff to you guys. So yes. I hope you enjoy yeah. it. And those will be like available for a brief period in that season. Yeah, and but then the the prime collection that we've released will be will available, be available here. That our sort of our core collection I guess mm. so anything in the prime collection will be sticking around but the other ones will be seasonal drops rotating around cool uh, there was another thing I was going to mention wow I sure love D&D that's what you were sure going to say love D&D fan art as well we've been getting loads of awesome yeah. fan art so if you please like, it's been amazing recently yes. we've been getting some amazing yes. art some our really fully locked screens really appreciate this because yes. every time yeah. I, I can look at beautiful where art. can people send art Chris Trot? Well, I'm going to steal it from Twitter anyway, but please send it to <laughs> highrollersdnd at gmail.com. Should for... they tag it on Twitter as anything to help you find it? No. Uh, okay. These sure. two. I mean, yes, like yes, everything. You, just find it. All right. yeah. you do want to tag it. Tag us highrollersdnd because otherwise it, we might, it might get lost. Or put yeah. a hashtag um, like highrollersdnd or yes. something. Promote, yeah. Spread the word of high rollers, all that kind of good Preferably stuff. Probably tag um, our account. Yeah, please tag our account. Tag our account. And send fan music as well, like yeah. the one that was played before we started by Matt C. That was for the City of Glass. It was so good. very timely. Very cool. Um, send that to highrollersdnd at gmail.com. Oh, there you go. Yes. Cosplay yeah. as well. I've seen a few people working. Yeah. We've had some amazing high rolls yep. cosplay as an ex-cosplayer and as somebody who wants to do more cosplay I love seeing it so please do send it through um, that's pretty much it shall yeah. we have some dun let's dun get some dun-duns dun please dun 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 the dun dun give me the dun dun
you should. <coughs> I'm so scared. Fear, fear, oh, fear, Tom, fear, sorry, fear. did you just ruin us coming back in? So I, you're going to have to edit this out? Oh, yeah, I might oh, have to. So I guess Tom. this is just a period of time oh, where we can just say same whatever old, we want. Same old. And it won't get into the podcast. <laughs> Tom. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Do it. Intro. Welcome back to Erois. Last time, our party travelled to the ruins of Kamina City, once a part of the exalted domain called Solvin. The ruined city now lays at the northern tip of the continent of Gisela and seemingly contained answers and guidance for the Guardian Paladin Sentry. Making their way into the city, accompanied by Kaltain Rama Volthir of the Sanzian Commonwealth, who bargained to help the party in exchange for troops and labor to repair their airship uh, to investigate it, the group encountered ancient, rusted feral guardians who have gathered here in great numbers. As they stalk through the ruined city streets, Sentry sees a visage of a golden, angelic guardian and chases after her. The party follows, bringing the attention of the roving, roving feral guardians towards them. Sentry finds herself in the Glass Scar, a section of the city transmuted into glass by an ancient weapon of stuck star banes. An open set of doors leads down into an ancient chamber. Fling into the chamber and sealing it behind them, the party discovers a strange echo bearing a similar resemblance to the angelic guardian that Sentry saw in her vision. The guardian is imprisoned within a strange crystal, and waiting beside it an imposing knight of Callus Starbane's empire. The knight reveals himself to be Maximilian Taldros, a strange humanoid that the party do not recognize. He also reveals his companion, Dana Glomefire, a Durgar sorceress. The pair explain they were sent to investigate a missing research team and have found that a powerful guardian now controls the city, fully corrupted by Hadar. Sentry frees the trapped Echo and together her and Lucius witness its memories, <coughs> revealing that the corrupted guardian is called Herald and she was sent here to await the Prime's successor. And to save off her own death, she fed on the life of other guardians to extend it, placing the last vestiges of her sanity and inherent goodness inside the Echo she sealed it away and has become a terrible power within the ruins. The party make an uneasy alliance with the two forces of Kalastarbane and head towards a temple of Siaska where they intend to lure out Herald and battle her to try and free her of her malign influence and reunite her with her Echo. A battle begins and a powerful bodyguard of uh, the Heralds appears, a formal royal guardian of Solwyn called Rook, who clashes with Sentry. And that is where we begin today. Fully in combat, yeah. initiative already rolled. Ah. And it is time to ah. begin. Ah, I'm spooked. Ah. I'm, I'm scared. Die. <laughs> I don't want to die. And in fact, it begins with the Herald herself. Oh, shit. She will bugger. Bugger. Oh, hello. She's flying away? She's actually going to lower herself slightly. Oh. Um, bringing herself to about 20 feet off the ground, she swoops down. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Yep. Making a line to... <clears throat> uh, hovering above where Nova and Lucia stand in front of the Grand Temple of Siaska itself, she lets out a mournful, terrible wail. Um, she raises her staff with this kind of jagged scythe blade melded onto it, and she throws it, spinning through the air, it collides towards Lucius and then doubles back to strike Nova before returning to her hand. Cool. Uh, she's going to make two attacks. Boomerang scythe. Boomerang oh, scythe. Damn. Uh, Lucius, really cool. that is a 24 to hit you. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, Nova, oh, 311 to hit you. Hey. So you dodge to the side as the scythe spin past. Lucius, however, you are going to take some I'll damage move. here, my friend. Um, <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Is this root? Yeah. Yes, He's that's a bad rook. dude. Bad. Yes. Smash? Yeah, smash. mega smash. Smash? No, no, no. don't smash him. Just, just smash? That's there's a, a there's a smash, that smash, that smash. Thank you. They're guarding the other exit. Uh, uh, Lucius, do you have any resistance to psychic damage? Yeah, no. Nope. You take, <laughs> you take 27 points of damage as this scythe. Not only does it cut your body, but as it does, you feel the torment and the agony and the, the misery of this guardian's life passes, <coughs> flashes through your mind um, as the blade strikes you and then it snaps back into her hands. I can relate. 
<laughs> Nova, at the start of your turn, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. You're in that aura. What mm. aura? She does that Taylor bad aura. Yeah. She's not suffered from it yet. Eleven. Makes... Eleven. I need you to make. Uh, it must immediately take the attack action against a random creature within reach. So using everyone's in reach. Now, one thing I'm going to change on this is uh, it wouldn't make you use your spells, which is what I did with Lucius before. Okay. So this is you either have to make a melee attack um, or a ranged attack if you have one. If you have so... neither, you have to throw your weapon. So uh, Eldritch Blast is 120 foot. Okay, so if you want to, yeah, rather than throwing Tiangong, if you want to use Eldritch Blast, you is can that do that. Is that not a spell? It is, but it's, if, a, cantrip. it's, it's, it's a, a cantrip. cantrip so it's yeah. not. Like so I'll, I'll say if that's what slot. you want to do, rather than using a weapon attack, and I'm going to give you the choice. And it's a random person? It's a random person. So it's basically uh, between one, everyone. two... It'll be everyone. It'll be everyone, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe not these guys. 120 the foot. It will reach these guys. Yeah, yeah it, it would do. All right, so let's count them up. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These guys are actually technically okay, off the map. Nine. So we'll do nine and I'll just re roll a d10. What ready? about the echo itself? Uh, the echo, I don't think we're going to have targetable. Okay. So, I mean, actually, technically, it probably would be. Um, oh, but it's only got like one health. I take it back, ignore me. So, one, two, three, four. Against Ayla, please. Sounds good. Um, and this is the full attack, so this is both beams. Full beam. Uh, natural 20 <laughs> on one. <Ooh>. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. And an 18 on the other. Just. And this is force damage, so you're not resistant to this. Oh, I don't have my fucking Am voice. I raging already? Yes, you what are you I had in my note, I wrote out my crit scores, so I So it would basically be a D10, so it would be 10 plus another D10 for the crit. Let's have a D10. So just D10 plus 10. 20. One. Uh, so I roll, I roll a one. Yeah, so 11 one. for the first one, and then the uh, second one is just a d10. That's a okay crit. Wait. Plus, wait, no, I'm reading the wrong fucking... Yeah, if it's Eldritch Blast, yeah, it would be d10 plus the max, which is 10, and then the next one would just be normal damage. Eight. Oh, that's so quite that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so, was... so you feel this uh, maddening influence from this Herald. Like, Herald that mean it you. warps your thoughts, your vision. The city almost seems to flash back into how it was, and you just become confused, and you lash out with your, you know, an attack, something familiar to you, and then you look and see that you've struck Ayla. Um, I'd probably scream, like, Ayla, no! Dude, what the I'm so sorry! Uh, you can still move and take any bonus actions on your turn. Uh, oh, that replaces your attack action. It's, it's you immediately take the attack action. That's really bad. Um, Damn. I'm gonna move away from her so I can move. Uh, yeah, it says if no creature are with if no creatures are within reach, it makes a ranged attack using a random creature within range, throwing its weapon if necessary. So if you have a ranged cantrip, I'd say actually, yeah, you would use that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Because it's not it using the slot. So move yeah, or bonus sense. action. Uh, I want to one or the other. No, no, you've got both. Okay. It's just your action you've Can used. you move me thirty foot away from her? So you could try and jump 10 feet down off of this raised sure, area yeah, yeah. and then run back, or you could try and, and forward, run forwards if forward, you want. If you want to run forwards, then you might as well just like yeah, run down so here. So I just want to be away 5, from 10, her. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You're still just out of range. Um, of and then can oh, in range of the I Hexblade curse? Uh, ooh, who should I Hexblade curse? Me, you'll get Side the quickly. Uh, I'm gonna cuss. <laughs> True death. On, I'm gonna cuss one of the. Um, one of the little scrubs. Little scrubs. Okay, sure. Uh, should we say the closest one to you? Yeah. This one. Um, did I bring something for this? <clears throat> we can okay. use this. We'll just use this to designate that you've currently okay. got your hexblade curse on it. Um, cool. Um, after Nova's go, Ayla. Uh, the Hello. Herald is flying up in the air. You can see she has these yeah. black wings of light. Um, you've seen this other Guardian rush up to Sentry and they've literally like locked weapons and they're fighting. Three more are kind of really rushing uh, towards down as well. Three so, more scrubs. So seeing that Sentry's a bit injured, I'm mm -hmm. probably going to go for this dude here. Okay. Because she's had now, some Now if you hits. just go back to where you were for a second. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you're just out of range. Also, is she up a ways? Uh, she is up a ways as well, yeah. But yeah. if you count but technically like, diagonally, it's like a paper? radius, like a globe okay. around her. So I will... D&D okay. diagonals are weird. D&D diagonals? D&D diagonals. D &D diagonals. <laughs> okay, so you rush up to the uh, Rook, the Guardian. Yes. Okay. Um, I will attack you twice. Attack you twice, uh, reckless or normal? 
Normal, please. Okay. No. We got dairy. Now. 21 on the first one and 24 on the second one. He, I'm going to be really annoying. Uh, he's going to use his reaction to cast shield. Uh, which gives him an AC of 25 uh, until the end of his next turn. So you watch as you spring up behind him, um, Sentry, you just watch. He's been kind of muttering, like, find the Prime, find the Prime, find the Prime. You see sit, like Ayla, like, raging, screaming up behind him. He just brings the shield arm round, and the emblem of Solvin projects in a magical, like, barrier, and just holds her attack off as he's still locked oh, blades cool. with you. Um, yeah, against your lightning. It's a natural 20. Mm. So half damage. Half of three. So one. You see like this little blast of lightning kind of strikes through the shield and he just seems to like shudder for a moment, almost unaffected. Has used his reaction though. So if I try and do anything else with him before his turn, call me on it. Mm -hmm. um, that your whole turn? Anything else? Nine. Nine. Um, you can hear the sounds of Maximilian fighting down from a corridor. You actually hear this eruption of flame. You just hear like a kind of muttered words and then whoosh and screams of these feral guardians coming from somewhere else. He sounds pretty cool. Yeah, right? We're joining him. Yeah. Lucius. Uh, a reminder, but I'm sure you probably know that so he's got my elemental. Maximilian's got my fire elemental. He does. Yes. I forgot about that, but I will yeah. keep that a note of that. Lucius, oh you are within I'm range. 30. You are within range. Make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, 18. 18, that's enough. You resist um, this oh. maddening aura around the Herald. Just barely, I will say. You feel it worming your way into your mind, but you've already, you're like, no, I've, I've, got, to, I've got to focus. And you snap out of it. Uh. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, after Lucius, by the way, it's going to be my go. Don't let, so uh, Tom, you're the next player up, so yeah. think about what you want to do. That's cool. I got, We're I got, very I got evenly ways. spread, so no matter who I go to, it's she's going to like pick the densest population to Possibly. aura. She might not. Depends who's she done hurts to her. In which case, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to move five feet here. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and you might as well, because then you're out of range, right? You know you, she has to move towards I'm you. I'm going to cast Vitriolic Sphere. Okay. 150 <laughs> feet. So I Isn't think that? it gets these guys. 20 foot uh, sphere. 20 foot radius. That will hit loads of them, dude. So that's basically like, if you target it on this guy, so you'd actually have to target this guy to make sure you don't hit sentry. I will do that. Back at rook? 20. That's just misses rook. It's basically like that. If you target the middle guy, you're going to hit then I get and sentry. Yeah. So you can hit these three guys I'm going to target the three. Yeah, absolutely. So nice. it's a ball of emerald acid streaks. Uh, they explode in a 20 foot radius. Each creature makes a deck saving throw against a 15. Please. Okay. Or takes 10d4 acid and then 5d4 acid next time. So it's like an upgraded acid splash. Uh, one of them does succeed, the other two fail. Do you need a shit ton of uh, Have fun right rolling now. 10d4. <laughs> yeah, can make sure he's not is, just rolling like 2d4s. So at it's a half damage. Yeah, to the one, yeah. The other two are going to take the full damage. Oh my two, lord. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Thanks. So Ten whole d4s. So wait, <laughs> but then like they the take 5d4 at the start of their next turn if they fail the save. Yes, yeah, half next turn as well. Oh. <laughs> so, oh my god. It's a lot of force. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Uh, on the first turn, uh, half that for, for the, the third one. Yep. And also, um, all three of these things melt. Okay, good. Oh, nice. Just Does he ever get oh, HP? Yep. You get HP from the Hexblade Curse. Okay. Um, <laughs> so they the the orb explodes. It coats them in this viscous orange green acid Excellent. and their forms just melt away. Dichromancy? Dichromancy, please, which is a level four spell plus four is eight. Eight, two? On the Herald. This wonderful guardian. This wonderful guardian. Yeah, so you kind of, the, nice. the, the orb streaks out and then you kind of pull orange from your clothing, launch it up as a bolt kind of spears through her chest and she kind of clutches down at it for a moment, just like, ah, oh, ah, and like looks you know, in pain, like you've, you've yeah, armed her, basically. I'm drawing attention. Sweet. Um, any <coughs> other actions? Uh, that's me. That's your whole turn? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, that's my motion. The next thing that happens is you hear the sounds of battle coming from where Maximilian and Dana and Ram are all fighting. But those of you who have a brief moment look 
beyond and the wall of flame that Dana conjured and the magic circle that Quill used, you see bodies beginning to pour over the wall of oh, uh, no, the magic no, circle no, no, no. and through the wall Oh, of oh no! Oh, no. no. That is a lot That's of bodies. That's a lot of bodies. Oh. Should I say vitriolic sphere? Oh, um, Christ. They swarm over. Not me. Uh, no, in fact, Nova, they basically run and completely engulf. <gasps> no! Yep. Not me! You I are. said not me! <laughs> These guys, however, basically have to just, they can only move a little bit because it costs them extra movement to climb over the, uh, the magic circle. Holy shit. Um, Nova. Yeah. You are surrounded by metal and steel and wood and vines and just feel ten claws trying to rip you apart. Uh, each of these attacks has advantage against cool. you and deals extra damage whilst you're in the swarm. Good night. And there's ten of them. Good night. Oh, so, we what's your more. AC so I can just... Seventeen. Seventeen, okay. Um, the first one is a nineteen to hit. Yep. The next one is a miss. Uh, the third one is a 16 to hit, nope. which is a miss. So I've only got the one. So can someone count through, like, I've, on I've your fingers? Okay, it. so you've got oh, so you've done so three. one hit, but I've made three. Okay, I'll count the hits, you count the attacks. The fourth one is a natural 20. Um, uh, the next one is a 23. Yep. Uh, the next one is an 18. Yep. Six. So one, uh, I've got, yep, yeah, so four more. Uh, the next one is a... 22. Yep. The next one is a 17. Exactly. How much are these going to And then the next one is, fucking hell, that was really well rolling, uh, is a 23. Yep. One so, so that's so seven one hits, more. one of which is a nat 20. Uh, and then the next one is, yeah, like a 22. So that's eight hits <laughs> plus, a nat plus a nat 20. 20. God. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be, uh, so seven hits plus the natural 20, you said? Yep. So that is going to be five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, but with the crit is 40, 40 points of damage. Okay. All from individual attacks. Okay. So that matters because against Ayla, you'd be halving each individual attack. <coughs> but Nova, I mean, they're just ripping your clothing. You feel like, you know, that your armor is barely holding up against their attacks as they just rip into you. Being in the middle of this is bad news. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah. Getting that, really feeling <laughs> that. When you moved over there, I was yeah. just like, okay. I, get, I get social anxiety the best of times, Mark. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is my nightmare. I was just like, mm. Now, I will say that as you see them, they've run through this wall of fire. They are injured. You can see yeah. that they've taken a ton of damage already running through this 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 flame, basically. Um, well. They, and they're feral guardians, right? These are feral guardians, yes. So it's going to be... They're very huggy. Um... <laughs> They just want some. And I will say that, like, you, you guys have fought things like swarms of enemies before. Generally, things like area of attacks are extra effective against them. So. <laughs> just use one. Guess what? I don't have. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> um, that's their turn. You can hear the sound my, of fighting. Uh, my AoE Quill. is Blight, which doesn't work against undeads and constructs. Also, oh. Blight. I don't think it's AoE. I think it's single no, target. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's, it's a single a, target. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, um, there's another like a, one, which is uh, AoE. If I cast a spell, can I still cast a spell as a reaction? Yes, you can. Yes, beautiful. I'm going to use. Cantrip, right? No, no. If it's a if it's a reaction, it's different. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to cast. It's on your turn. You can't cast more than um, one action spell slot action. plus. But yeah. Right. I'm going to cast expeditious retreat on myself. Bonus action. And then I'm leaving. See ya. <laughs> uh, no, I'm doing so I can move 60 feet. Five. And you 10, weren't in range, so you're not in the aura. 15, yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. Five, 10, 15, 20. 2530. Okay. And then I'm going to use uh, Turn on Dead. Cool. My channel Divinity. Okay. So anything within 30 feet, which is definitely this pack for Nova. Yes. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 is the edge of that the pack there. Uh, you, yeah. We're going to have to count this on an individual basis because of the range, but yeah, sure. sure. And okay. it also would hit the Herald, but. Maybe she undead? Has. Doesn't affect the Herald. Okay. okay, I figured she wasn't undead. 20, 25, that's going to hit all of them. Okay, so tell me, tell us what uh, Channel Undead does. Uh, just turn undead. I can destroy undead too. What if, kind of, so what challenge rating? CR 12 if they fail. CR 1 half, you mean? Uh, 1 slash 2. Yeah. So one half. half. Yeah, we'll call okay. it 12 with the okay. line in the middle. Cool. What's the, uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the thing? What are, we, what are we doing here, Quill? So this is, 
Where is it? Sorry, I've got different... Yeah, that's fine. I understand. Uh, Turn on dead. I think it's normally a saving throw. I think it's a wisdom saving throw, I think. Man, you know what? I've totally lost where Turn um, on dead is. I can probably get it on the cleric thing. It it's a feature. Feral oh, is it a feature? They, we, it's been identified before. They do react to being undead. Do you want me to okay. look it up? Do you want me to just... I can bring it up on cleric. I can't actually find my turn undead. I've lost it. That's fine. What, what I can sorry, sorry, boys. Mm. Oh, there it is. Uh, so they have to make a wisdom saving throw for DC 15. Mm. And if they fail, they are turned for a they minute. They are undead, but they're also not undead. Not the feral? Yeah. I thought... Um, I identified them as undead last They time. are. It's an interesting one because they're technically... It's When guardians, they're not really dead, but they are... Power, there's similar they're beyond life, <laughs> it's but yeah, not quite it's an dead. interesting one. So, I'm gonna make a saving throw. So, we'll do this group because only one of them is actually affected yeah. on the edge of the pack. And the DC is what did you say? 15. 15? Mm. Okay, all right, well, that's a failure for that one. And then I'm gonna make well, I'm banishing him, he's gone. Okay, just that it. one guy. Oh, wait, can I say we'll wait. find out. You got turn on dead or I mean, destroy undead is part of turn on dead. It's the yeah. same thing. Have when not, basically, fails when he turns on undead break. under a certain yeah. challenge rating, oh. rather than being turned, it's destroyed. I thought it was a level, uh, certain level. You I'm gonna yeah. deter. I'm gonna have to think about it whilst I roll ten saving throws for okay. these guys. Sure. Okay. Shut down Do there. Undead <laughs> matrices. Shit! I shouldn't have said anything. Oh Make God. a saving throw for me, anyway. Nova. Yeah. Make Nova's a saving arm. throw for me. Wisdom. It's too far. Can you count for me? The arm tries to roll. Roll four. <laughs> roll f uh, four oh, no. So have four fingers for me. It's like evil dead. I'm going to do one. No! My arm is two undead! More. That's what you were saying, right? I thought that's what you were I thought about. you were just going to do me. Like, no, no, you're not undead. Okay. But your arm is. <laughs> it's eight, yeah. It's going to stop throttling me. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. I didn't roll. That wasn't a roll. That was a drop. Yeah, a drop. okay. I'm going to say this. You watch as Quill... What did you get? 18. 19, 20, 21. Okay. You watch. What, what does this look like when Quill does this? So I've got like a staff. Okay. People don't see this often. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Where's he been hiding that this whole like, time? On my back or something. It's a winged Hesper sort of symbol on the top of the staff. And I literally just plant it in the ground and an orb of like purple light. <laughs> Not purple. That's Starbany. Yeah. Yours is normally white, I golden, think. Yeah, golden, golden light. Golden light. Uh, uh, emanate from that, and then the incoming circle when it pounds back into the staff is when stuff starts tearing to shreds. Nice. Nice, cool. Okay, that dude's dead. How many of these guys go? Please tell me all of them. One, two, three. Oh, he's a bit careful. Okay. Four. Doesn't even care. How many are in this pack? Not me! Wait, five? Five, six. six. Seven? Oh my god, this is awesome. I just killed eight people. And there's Watch three left on Nova. As seven, like, ch chunks of these feral guardians. They're not destroyed, like, blown away like undead. Like, if you use this on a skeleton, it would turn it to ash and just disintegrate it. You just watch as their bodies just shut down. And they just, just fall flat. Fall Perfect. flat dead. Cool. Nova, you feel, as that golden energy passes over, the hand is intense pain and you have to like ah, as you feel the hand wanting to crumble and you're willing it to stay like no 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 and you manage to hold on like the willpower just keeps the the energy bound to you but yeah this thing would have hurt like it, he could have just destroyed your arm um, is, is the arm lower than half cr yeah, yeah. i mean it's an arm <laughs> yeah it's on, on there. Um, yeah. And yeah, one of the other ones is destroyed as well on the other pack, but only just because it just clipped the edge of its, uh, its Man, pack. I don't know if you guys are counting, but eight. And an arm. Eight kills. <laughs> 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 Sentry, three. you yeah. are up. Hello, hello. I'm going to uh, just attack Rook, Divine Smite him. He's okay. double, double blammo. He does have shields, yep, until the start of his next yeah, turn. Yeah, I'll make it tricky. Queen to A3. Well, remember you can do Divine Smite if you hit. So yeah. you don't need to spend the spell slots until you hit. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 for the first Damn one, and then 20 for the spell. second one. Nope. So the yeah. shield spell kind of moves and encompasses all around him as your axe just cool. passes over him, basically. Uh, divine Smite's I... on hit, right? Yeah, on, yeah. Well, yeah you don't okay. spend it until you hit. Yeah. Okay. Anything can, else? Uh, can I cast uh, Shield of Faith as a bonus action, please? You absolutely can. Gives Thank you plus you. two to AC. Concentration, yes, though. Remember that. Yeah. Um, cool. That's your go. Done? Yep. Rook's turn. Uh, he will... Uh, what's the range on this? 
Um, you watch as he raises Her Majesty's Rose, this beautiful, well-created, perfectly preserved sword. He raises it and points it towards the Herald. My queen. You see it glow. He casts Warding Bond on oh, him God. and the Herald. What's that? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what that is. Oh, I read that before. Um, and then he just basically returns to a kind of fighting position. Sounds good though, doesn't with it? With you guys. Mm. Um, oh shit. Quill we just know. see a nice spell <laughs> effect. I'm just the Herald. These dudes around, sorry. Yeah. You killed so many of my children. Life. Oh. She's right there, Quill. Yeah, that was me. Whoopsie. It was him, not me. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh, it's god. okay if I make a melee attack. It's Rhiannon's like, face is just permanently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared terror. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling very delicate right now, guys. <laughs> oh shit. Where was she before? She was like at the top of the tower, yeah. Why, what's happened? Oh no. What have you done? I'm gonna say, so. Oh, nope, no. I'm not gonna say, because you destroyed you. Okay, I'm gonna change it because you did turn on dead on these things. That's, and it's going to be slightly different. Uh, she moves, what? looks down at Quill. Shield. I mean, use the reaction if I hit you. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm absolutely using shield. Okay, That's what well, I let's see if I hit you first. Can you pour first attack, attack shield. 19. I'll shield that. <laughs> yep, so what does that bring your AC up to? To 21. 21. Shield holds against the second attack. <gasps> the scythe, she throws it down. Ching, catches back, spins it again, ching, bounces off the magical shield around you. Um, end of her turn. Uh, 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 uh. I'm shitting myself, guys. Me too. Nova, at the start of your turn, make a wisdom saving throw. Fuck my life! They're trying to. <laughs> 15. 15, not enough. Use your attack action to attack an enemy at range. You do have enemies within melee attack with you, so we'll basically wear up as... One, two, three. I mean, Eldritch uh, my Blast is so range far. range is five foot reach. But you could still affect everyone okay. with Eldritch Blast. So one, two, three, four, Get five, six. Oh, hang on. Yeah, seven. Yeah, and then, uh, okay, I'll roll a d8. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rook. Oh, uh, perfect. Eldritch Blast Rook. That'll be a... Uh, uh, it's disadvantage you have an enemy next to you. I get much lower than two, except a one. Two obviously. plus eight is ten. Bounces off of his armor. As the first beam. His shield's gone, by the way. Fifteen so. plus eight. Uh, Fifteen plus eight is the second beam. Fifteen plus eight. Twenty-three. I mean, he does get his reaction back. I'll shield again. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> he had his turn, so. Yep. Yeah, Max and chess piece, piece of shit. Yeah, he uh, you basically, <laughs> he sees the bolt come in, and it's almost just like a self-preservation. He's just, <laughs> and <laughs> the beam bounces off the shield. Um, so that's my, I can't do an that's action, action anymore. You've got a move and a bonus action. Can I disengage? Is that? That's an action. An action, that's cool. Uh, can we top around? Uh, Herald is the top do well, uh, can I bonus action drink a potion of greater healing? You absolutely can. Do I have that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we've all got potions. You should do. Uh, every, it's not everybody has a greater. I think some of us, it might uh, just Kim, be. If you've got D4, okay. just roll 4D4 four four plus 4, because I can't find my D4s. Oh, there's one. Quick question mark while yes. Kim is rolling. Mm -hmm. Can I see oh, past this wall of fire? Vaguely, but it's, okay. it's obscured by the fire. Can I 12, notice if there's any other hordes? Coming. No, not, not as far as you can see immediately. 16. Uh, 16 HP. That's where you get back. That's your bonus action. Can I um, do a reaction? To what? What is the, What are you reacting to? Can I, Mark, please? You're the best DM in the world I've heard. And I know for a fact. Just don't waste my time. I'm can I <laughs> use my reaction to chromatic control and absorb the fire? No, because it's um, the reaction is when I uh, see someone cast a spell. Yes, ah. and uh, this is in I a, saw this it, is an inner place effect. No, you would have <laughs> had to. It's a really delayed reaction, just like ten minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and also remember that the chromatic control changes the type of it. The alternator is what you can use to yeah. absorb it. Oh, it has gonna... to be acid or cold. Oh, you're going to change it and then absorb it the next turn. The changing it is only for the round it's cast. 
I can't dodge or anything, can I? No. Uh, that's an action. <laughs> that's why her aura is like really bad. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah. I didn't. It didn't specify any. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll we'll change that then. I'll I'll make some clarifications. That's on me. But okay. yeah, unfortunately, it's when the spell is cast. So okay. I'll just be a sponge, guys. I'll be a sponge. All right. Well, that's Nova's go. Ayla. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a big swarm of whacking. feral guardians. There's Rook next to you. This herald lady is causing problems. Why? Can I? Throw the Howling Tempest at the Herald. Are you in range? Oh, you can, uh, I think I have Thunderstep. Uh, <laughs> I'll try and do Thunderstruck. <laughs> 60 feet? She needs her action to do it, that's the problem. Yeah, that's, that's still a spell. That's, still that's a spell. That's the problem with having a low wisdom. Like, yes. she's got, like, all of Nova's insecurities, all of her doubts over Callus and everything that's happened. It's, this Herald is bringing them all to bear, and you just All the very fresh life. fuck ups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Can I? Yeah, I'm, I am in range. Tell us what it does. So I throw the hammer. Full um, style. Can I recklessly throw the hammer? Mm, um, yeah, I think because basically Cause the way it works, attack. you throw it, it turns into a bolt of lightning for the um, path, yeah. but there's nothing in but the path. But then it hits her And then the it turns back to a hammer yeah. and hits back. So yeah, you make a uh, reckless attack. Oh no, that was a four and a one. That was trash. Oh, dang it. Um, so I, 12 to hit. 12 is not enough. No, but she's still, um, so... Hits by 46 lightning, I think, or half so, lightning. <laughs> Rianne's um, just in a constant state of dread. I'm scared. It's all right, boo, we're fine. Half as much, so it takes 2d6 lightning. 2d6 then. lightning, sure, roll it. It's but just in case. On a failed just, save. Just project and think about us dying. Just so you can prepare for it. Yeah, uh, five, six, eight, nine, <laughs> nine damage. Watch us slowly die in your mind. No, that's yeah. left. That's well, that's yeah, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. This is not my aura. It's okay, we're only dying during your storyline. Oh, well. Right. Yeah. Wow! So, well, so, okay. Ayla, you spin the, the counter no more. tempest. <laughs> You throw it, it launches in the air, she does deflect, but then it explodes with lightning around and then flies back to your hand. When you throw the Howling Tempest, it erupts with a thunder, like a, a thunder boom does as it? well, right? Does it? It's not okay. in the thing that it oh, It's does. not in the thing, then it doesn't. Right. Um, so the hammer like gonna... cracks with lightning. No, it's, it's sh- only whoever's in the, the direct light. No, I'm just saying, he would have used the noise as attracting more peeps. That's a good thing no, you mentioned no, it as well. I just closed the Thunderweave spell. It's the, it's only the, the <laughs> people in the line. You might need it, Quill. Nah. All right, so you throw that, but that's your action yeah. to use yeah, the yeah, lightning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, anything else? Move. Um, not right now. Uh, Lucius, you hear the sounds of Max fighting, you hear kind of grunts and cries, um, you see a blinding flash come from the alleyway. Uh, Lucius, your turn. He's got that, he's fine. I'm gonna cast at level four. Yep. Three. <laughs> four! <laughs> Fuck it, four. I'm gonna cast Chromatic Orb, Acid, level four. Yep. I'm gonna use my sorcery points, my font of magic, to twin it. Ooh. I'm gonna Lovely. hit her and I'm gonna hit the rook. Sure, okay. go for it. Let's see. So it's attack roll. Let's see if you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rook still has you, her you, shield you. spell active and she currently has uh, her... 16. On which one's that against? <coughs> her. Miss. He Rook. has a spell up. He has He's shield. 25 AC at the moment. <laughs> you send the bolts uh, flying out. Herald deftly in the air. Her wings are made of light so they don't flap and she just pivots and turns in the air as the bolt sails past. Rook just waits and it just bounces off the shield. This this, sol- this shield glowing with the colors of Solven just evaporates. Dichromancy still goes off though. So that was a fourth that's, level spell, that's so that's eight, eight damage to, to her, Herald. Please. So that's halved, technically that damage would have been halved Why as well. Why is it halved? Because of the warding bond. Currently. So I've got an elemental adept that ignores resistances to then, acid. Then there you go, then that and it ignores that. So she'll still take that eight from you. Also I get natural 20s on. On dice rolls. <laughs> I don't think you do. I think you're a liar. So the the lightning attack, there. some sort of barrier protected her, but you see Rook take some of the damage when you struck with the lightning. Uh, so the bond between them, you can almost see like a faint chain binding them together. Um, um, but then the acid completely ignores that, and also Rook would take that same mm. eight points of damage as well. Because um, he takes the same damage that she does while it's active. Only any of them have hit. Uh-huh. Um, so bam, like the, the another kind of dichromancy uh, strike launches out. 
Um, the remaining ferals go. Hum nom 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 nom. Lads on tour. That's all on me. Malaga. I'm going to do the attacks against Nova first. The three remaining little ferals are going to swipe at Nova. Now that they're reduced by half, um, their attacks don't seem anywhere near as effective. That's cool. I've still got my shield. They still have. They do still have advantage whilst Nova's in there, though. So Nova, uh, twenty to hit. Yep. Uh, Seventeen to hit. Yep. Uh, Eighteen to hit. Yep. So that's going to be. That's going to be three, six, nine. <laughs> Um, plus two. This is just a masterclass in Rhiannon faces. Yeah, nine points of slashing damage. Um, do you have any concentration spells up at the moment? I don't think you do. I haven't got a chance to do anything! Uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I've, that's true. Come on! Quill, nine attacks, all with advantage. Over 21, though. damage. Over 21. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, 17. No. Miss. Yeah, if you can count, that's one. Uh, that's uh, 12. 24. <laughs> Can you count the hits? Right, we're going to have to do this because now you're going to have to make a concentration. No, shield's not concentration. What am I talking about? There's not many. Uh, oh, but ex three. Uh, expeditious is. That's another one. We'll just keep okay, hit. we'll just do a bunch of them because expeditious isn't going to change what's going to happen. Yeah. So that's two. Uh, that is 23. God, dude. Uh, 22. Wait, are you counting hits? I'm counting hits overall. Oh, no, I'm, I'm counting, count, I'm counting, counting attacks. attacks. I'm counting attacks. Okay. 22. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, I think that was the fourth one I just did. So how many is that? Six. So three more. Uh, like 12. Ching. 12. Ching. Last one. Natural 20. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, crit, 30. 30 points of damage. Uh, and you need to make one, two, three, four, five concentration checks. At uh, what level? Uh, it'd be DC 10 for all of these. Uh, so con concentration, constitution save throws. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, expeditious retreat joke goes. Do I add anything like wisdom or anything? Uh, it's con constitution saving throw. Oh, constitution save. Oh, 10. So all right, still got so that. that passed. One, two, three, passed. four, passed. five. You Man, I actually just ah, that was really good. That was really good rolls. Hell. They were I've all above plus 15. one constitution as well. <laughs> Roll that for healing now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, some more good news. You hear like roars of flame. You hear cries as Dana, the Durgar, and Rammer have been fighting. And then at the end of their turn, they come running back. <gasps> Please. <laughs> Help us! Uh, you see them glance around. Rama looks at Sentry <laughs> and Rook. He's like, fault. I'll help them. You you deal with that. And he points at the swarm of uh, oh, things. I'm not going near that shit. Um, the wrong hearing have arrived. She she looks and there's a, an interesting look on her face. Oh, no. Man, Quill, you your turn. Fuck, fuck these guys. Fuck oh, all of them. Oh, I see. I don't um, know what to do. I don't know what to do. So do I have to do a disengage I against every see. single? Oh no, disengage is the entire time. It's a whole action to do a disengage. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know. But you do still have expeditionist retreat up, so you can dash as yeah. a bonus action. So you can move sixty feet. Get out of it. The thing is, expeditious doesn't let me disengage as a bonus. Nope. Because nope. I'm wondering if I just destroy undead while I'm inside them. Have Ooh. you got another channel divinity? I do. Yeah, I've got two. You've got two per day. Uh, it would get rid of all of them. Potentially, yeah. Me. Am I within her? If I run away, am I within her range? Oh, actually, it's the beginning of your turn. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Shit. <laughs> nice this will off. very heavily yeah, determine yeah, what happens. Uh, a wisdom so save. Wisdom save. Do so that roll. Pretty good at these. Yeah, plus do the good seven. one. Do the good one. <laughs> no! Not, I knew as soon as you said plus seven, natural one, I was like, I know it's going to be a natural one. I can't. Quill! You need to make a melee or ranged attack against a ranged enemy in danger. I'll make what's, a melee attack. Well, it's what's your maximum range? Like five feet, well, men oh, uh, No, what's your, like, your cantrip? Like, oh, uh, 60 <laughs> feet for Sacred Flame? Uh, yeah. Yep, so that's pretty much everyone except Lucius, I think. Five, I'm seven, so wide. 20, 25, so, uh, That's That's everyone. All right, we'll do, uh, right. Nova, one. Swarm, two. Herald, three. This Swarm, four. Lucius, five. Ayla, six. I feel like the Swarm Rook, should have seven, more of a balance. Century, yeah, eight. Yeah, huh? because there's, like, a lot there's more so targets in the Swarm. It's still like but a man. No, I'm, I'm hitting like a man. I'm treating them in their hit points and things like that as one creature. For the chance to hit. Doesn't matter. It's still, I'm treating it as one creature, and so that's what I'm going to roll. Seven, I believe, is Rook. 
Perfect. This guy's kind of beaten. Um, I was like, not six, not six, not six. <laughs> or the, fucking the worst would have been Nova, like uh, no. hitting Nova with a Sacred Flame, like right now, yeah. yeah. Sacred Flame gives them advantage on another attack roll, like. Uh, I think. Oh no, it no. Reduces, removes their cover or something. Removes their cover. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you just do a dex. Definitely dex Nova. Saving throw. <laughs> uh, fail. Nice. Two d eight damage. Two d eight. Radiant damage. Does that help? It does not help against okay. Rook. <laughs> Six. Six points. But she so takes that too, right? Because she she's... doesn't. No, uh, it only works one way. It's when uh, she takes damage, he takes damage. If uh, he takes damage, it doesn't affect her. I'm sorry. Are they like splitting damage or it just So doubles. any damage against her appears to be halved. Uh, unless it ignores resistance. Because it goes to him. And then it goes to the shit out of mm. uh, <laughs> So that's Quill's go. Done. Uh, You've got a move oh, no, and a yeah, bonus Sorry, action. yeah, uh, the rest of my turn. You have oh move and god, a bonus. he took my action. He did. The aura of madness. Hadar's madness. And if I move now, I'm getting hit by everything. Yeah, no. Oh, damn. Bonus action? You heal yourself or something? Uh, yeah. I'll, you know, cleric thing. I mean, yeah, I'll bonus action. I, can't wanna, I don't want to do a spiritual weapon, you know. You could. Yeah, uh, you've only cast a cantrip, so you could bonus section spiritual weapon. I'll do a level three healing word on myself. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right, I'll let you roll that while I do. Oh. Sentries go. Hello. Hello. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is his uh, shield gone? Uh, it's not his go yet. It goes at the start of his turn, which is after sentries. <laughs> Like, Just the oh, fucking so... shitty initiative order is really unfortunate. Yeah, I'm loving right. combat. <laughs> can can I just shove Rook out of the way and then you try can and make run a shove attack? Quill? Actually, yeah, you can. So to do that, um, you basically are going to try a shove maneuver, uh, which I believe you make opposed strength checks. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, Regular strength. There is a thing. Safe. I think it's just. Um, let me check because there is actually a rule for like shove attacks and stuff like that. So what are you trying to do? Just shoving a creature just using the attack action, you can make a special. Okay. I think knock it, 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 push it, push it five feet, or knock it prone. Target must be no larger than you. Make a strength athletics check opposed by the target's athletics or dexterity check. So you make an athletics check. Alrighty. I will also make an athletics. You can knock him prone with a shove. You can. Uh, I yes. got nineteen. Get... Nineteen is that the total with the total, athletics? Yeah. Twenty-two. I rolled a nineteen Fuck. plus three. Stop rolling. Um, so yeah, you go to shove him, you use your whole attack action to try and shove him, but he just stands firm and the two shields of Solvin smash into oh, each other. You're God. kind of pressing against each other. I'm just and there's a like, moment, there's a moment, right, where you're pushing against it, you lean in, and the kind of awkward head, it's kind of not even really looking at you, and then you just, one eye seems to kind of like flicker with a bit of colour, and you just hear like, Sentry, kill me. Oh, oh God! You have a move and a bonus action. Uh, oh no! You could just move past him, but he'll get an attack opportunity. Yeah. Oh, Another fuck. for the shit cake. Yeah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Layer, 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 yeah. Layer. I'm just gonna try and move past him. I'm sure. Just, you, you, can you I try and assist in fence. some way to help her get to Quill? Because I. Ah, that would be on your beside. turn. Unfortunately, okay. I'd say you could spend your turn trying to shove him or pull him or grapple him, but that's gonna be your turn. Unfortunately, in initiative, it's. Got to do things in certain order. Mm. Um, so yeah, do you want to like you, you'd have to basically run around him or jump over here, basically. Oh, I'll jump over the fence. So that's the ten fence, feet yeah. to move there. Yeah. Five, <coughs> ten, fifteen. Yeah. Uh, he gets a free attack. Go for it. With Her Majesty's Rose, natural fucking twenty. Oh. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this dice here and I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, it's this my, is my little pony dice. It is my, my it little is, pony it's dice. It's fucking glaring. <laughs> Uh, this is quite a lot of damage. As his, as ah. Her Majesty's Rose hits you, the blade, <laughs> mithril thorns, appear on the blade and tear at your flesh right. as it hits. This is going to be eight, <laughs> oh four God. to eight. Wait, eight, wait, 16. wait, 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 wait. He used dice. shield, right? He did. So that doesn't, does that, doesn't that, isn't that a reaction? That's his reaction. Oh, he can't make an attack opportunity. What a well, pro yes! DD player. No. Oh, yes! Yeah, no, absolutely. Get, he doesn't get the attack, so that's oh, why he's gone. Oh, thank yep. God! Fuck! I'm giving my dice back. <laughs> no, I don't no, have I'm it anymore. It to you're not I'm having it back. Dice. No, you said you're not using it anymore. Well, you I just rolled, rolled like I rolled three it nat twenty and got another nat twenty. 
Like that dice is broken. All right. It's fine. We're not using it. I'm gonna put it. We're not using it. I'm confiscating it. It's too good. It's not a DM dice. Oh shit! Like how I'm gonna confiscate Tom's shit. So you move over for that short turn. Any bonus actions? No, it's all good for me. I was like, I was like, shield. There was something about shield. So no, no, no. You're right because now it's his go. The shield goes, but he gets his reaction back. Chat must have been going mental. He's not going to react. No, I feel like that was that was. He turns around, Ayla. No, you see him point ah. the Her Majesty's Rose in a direct line between Sentry, Quill, this thing, Nova. No! no! And Leave a, bolt, me a bolt of lightning. Is there anything that I can do to <laughs> I'm magic react? resistant. I'm magic resistant. Wait, uh, you have resistance against all spells. What? You get a Grenus the same throws. Quill will get this benefit as does, well. Does he make a roll? Can I? This is a dexterity saving throw <laughs> for all of you guys. That I can do. It's Fuck, a lightning I bolt. I can't pause <laughs> anything. So, uh, Sentry, Quill, Nova, and the two swarms are going to make dexterity saving throws. Can I get advantage of Expeditious Retreat? Nope. Damn it. But Sentry gives you resistance to all damage from spells while you're within 10 feet of her. Can we redo this session? Yeah. No. <laughs> right. Oh. One swarm, the swarm around I'm Nova resistant. saves for half. Um, the other one fails. Quill, dex saving throw. I got a 17... On my roll and my decks, I'm not sure what And then you get a plus two from Sentry. So 19, Nova. Eight. Eight. Thirteen. Thirteen. Sentry and Quill, you're going to take half damage already, so it's going to be halved again because of Sentry's um, ward. Oh, wow. She halves all spell damage around her, basically. Holy shit. Yeah, Paladin of the Ancients, man, really strong. For the swarms. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think it's only allies, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, so the swarm still <laughs> takes full damage. Um, Nova, you are taking full damage from this. And Rip. 8d6. 8d6. Oh, fuck. Okay. 48. It's okay. It's okay. 52. I rolled pretty bad. It's okay. It's that okay. sounds more 10. than it is. I'm alright. How much health do you have? 20. 33. 33. Okay. Well, you take 24 lightning damage as this lightning bolt streaks through. Quill and Sentry, you take 6 lightning damage each. Okay. Um, the swarm around Quill takes 24. How many does that boop? Uh, 24 would destroy two of them. Right. Um, yep. How about me? Does it destroy any of Nova's dudes? Uh, hang on, I'm just going to work something out. Um, around Nova's one, they would take 12, which would kill one. Okay. This lightning bolt from Rook just barrels through all of you. So there's still two guys on Nova, like a million on me and Sentry now. And Rook is the end of the turn, and we go to turn four. Oh, which is the Herald? Heralds go. <sighs> yes, yes, come, come, feed me, die for me. No. I need everybody around her within 120 feet, actually. That's everyone. Right? Everybody. That's everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, bum, 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 bum. Six. Woo, woo, woo. She's not wise, guys. Remember, if you're around Sentry, so Quill, you get a plus two to this. Yes, plus two. Oh! Jesus. Right, Ayla. Six. Six. 21. 21. 19. 19. Oh, and that 20, 22. 22. Ooh. 23. 23. Everybody but Ayla. What about these C's? What about Dunner and uh, They will need to make a check. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ram, this... yep. Dana passes, Rama passes. Okay. In fact, she. Yes, Dana's got enough of a bonus to that. Rook is immune. Um, everybody but Ayla, you succeed against this and you can't be affected by this ability again. You can still be affected by her aura, but not this ability. Ayla, you go. suddenly look up and you see this angelic figure. And she is golden and radiant. You see her as this, such a form of captivating, not beauty, but awe. You, your speed is zero and you are charmed by her, which means you cannot target her with any attacks. You can can I target anyone else though? You can target other creatures, but not Think her. Think of Wild Elf, can she be charmed? Oh yeah, shit, spells. I think you have advantage. Oh, I have advantage. So, see what you get. As advantage. 12. Sleep you're immune to, 12, 12. you're still affected. Um, so you just look up and you're just so stunned by her, you can't move. You can still attack Rook, but you cannot attack her. Okay. Obviously very speed. good that you will save against My it. My speed is zero. Speed is zero. Can't move. Um, and you can repeat this saving throw at the end of your turn. Okay. Nope, it's if you take damage, you can repeat the saving throw. Okay. 
Uh, that is Herald's go, because that is her action to do. Um, Nova, at the start of your turn, wisdom saving throw. Seven. Oh, damn it! <laughs> uh, what's that wisdom saving throw on Nova, by the way? Plus two. Plus two, man, man that's real unlucky. I'm loving life. One, two, three, four for Quill, five for Sentry, six for Lucius, seven for Ayla, eight for Rook, and is it 120 on thingy? Nine for Dana, ten, 10 for Rama. Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Right. Oh, hey, it might help. <laughs> Two Eldritch Blasts, disadvantage as you are in a swarm. Okay, so first one. I'm also going to give Ayla plus two cover because there's the fence and the swarm. 11. So 11 to hit. Yep. Uh, 12, 13, 14, sorry, 12. 12 plus eight is 20. 20. Is that hit? Yep. With Even. the plus two as well, yeah, because it's oh, 18 yeah. to plus 18. My plus AC two. is 18. So it go plus two, so it still hits, yeah. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. I'm not repeat. part of it, though. Well, Wait, maybe. No, you make oh, the same throw with advantage. Oh, with advantage? Yeah, because yeah. it's a charm effect. Uh, so 16, 17. 17, just enough to get oh. out of it. Woo! Nice. Yes. 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 She helped. You feel Thanks, like Nova. the blast kind of like bruh, stuns you. You still, because it's you don't half it because it's force no, damage. I know. And you're just like, bruh, and then you see the chaotic mess and you see the herald for what she really is um, as the you look up. Bitch. No, but you have a move and a bonus action. <laughs> Move with a bonus. Well, I can't move. You can. Can't. You could disengage, couldn't you? No, because the action is. You guys haven't cast anything that's loud enough yet. Okay. Can I chuck Great. my the lightning bolt? Right, it's it's doesn't thunder. Yeah. Cool. Can I? Well, I can't move. Can I? Because I would incur there. Yeah. Wrong. You could. You I could. have nine points of health, Mark. And then let's then not. That's a risk or reward. But I would like to drink. My last greater healing potion. You have two greater healing potions? Yes. I thought you only had one. I think two we all here. had okay. more. I, 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 as long as they're marked yeah. off. I don't have one, so. Because I know that you, because <laughs> you had a, a regular, but you used it last time. Last I don't think time? you marked it off. I had so. Two this time. Okay, so the, and you're out of potions now, yep. I think. Yeah. All right. Out of And you've got one greater healing? Yeah, you yes, I gave a potion to Sentry, but I marked it off. Yeah. So I've got. So you've, you should have one. I think one. Lucius has one. Well. It's. I gave Sentry my greater healing. I've got one regular. Again, if it's not on Sentry's inventory. No, no, no. I mean, I pulled it. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's yeah. a plus four, yeah. right? Yeah. 44 plus four. So that's 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. Another 16. I think. Did I? I'm sure I did. Yeah, I think you did. I remember you doing it. So you, you sup a potion <sighs> as you continue to be surrounded. But there's only two of them now. They're kind of just flanking you, yeah, trying to swipe at you Harold. and stuff. What I really wanted to do, Mark, all this time, was fire off a dimension door and GTFO down the bottom of the field. I know, but I know you do, but that's... Fine, I'm taking all the damage, so you guys don't have to. Ayla. Thank you. I mean... I will attack shit face McGee. Yeah, Rook is definitely... Um, you, you can clearly see that he obviously has some skill in magic and is also pretty good at fighting. He's clad in armour. He's not... You should take care of him. Um... Yeah, I'm going to attack him recklessly. Yes, yes. Uh, 15. Oh, that was shit. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 23 for one. Mm -hmm. And you could gonna... do it again. <sighs> and shield. It's so bullshit, but I, I think he would. Like, this is what he's designed it's, to it, do. He's, he's a, a protector. He's, like, he's literally why? designed to protect himself. That's and his a charge. very rook bullshit move. He can't shield. Yep. Okay, so six lightning damage. Make your save against that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's really annoying. 19 plus oh. one so is 20. Damage. It takes three. I can do shit all in this. This is. I mean, to be fair, he's like bullshit. he's a tanky little nerd. At least you're like, not me. And it's also like it's that thing I know, of like but I can't help. he's he's designed to take on people like you. Things like spells would be fucking him up a lot more, but it's just tactics. It's the way things go. Just tic tacs. More good news though. At the end of his turn, oh, the Max real dream Oh damn! Look uh, at that guy. You can see <laughs> he has definitely been beaten up a little bit. He's taken significant damage. Kind of similar to Nova, it looks like he's been swarmed. Parts of his armor have been pulled off, deep cuts and scratches. But he wades through the great sword over his shoulder, raising a fist. Um, Has he used my little uh, elemental yet? He hasn't, not yet. He's I going about to. to cry when He's I gonna see gonna use him. It on us. What a beautiful man. Uh, but elemental. that's at the end of his turn. Good Lucius. Help. I'm going to Chromatic Orb at third level on Shitface McGee. Top tier cake. Cool, you're not charmed yet. Yeah, you can attack. So uh, Thank you. Uh, make an attack. Spell attack. <laughs> 
Shall I just leave? Do you have advantage or...? Why would I? No. Okay, so what, miss? Roll I'll two. just keep missing. You do have spells that don't require attack rolls, I believe. I know, but I want to kill her. Yeah, no, absolutely, I get it. <laughs> um, Fair. Cool. So just a miss on that. She just weaves to the side as the orb flails through the air. Don't use that dice. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to put this away. It's a nice high roll of gemstone no. dice. You're supposed to be out of now, fine. Uh, move or bonus action, Lucius. You've been kind of left alone at the back of this field. This must be He's crazy. exactly where he needs to be. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. in the best Perfect. place. Right. That's the thing, I'm trying to get that far as well. All right. Uh, Nova, <laughs> two attacks by the swarm against oh, you. Just two. Uh, 21. Yep. Okay. Uh, they don't have a... Well, I, they, they technically do have advantage. Uh, so 16. No. All right, so one hit. Um, that's going to be three points of slashing damage. There's but a scratch. As they do. They, they're just basically these two. They're not particularly strong, but in numbers, they just swarm you, basically. Quill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, here we go. So uh, I believe the there is eight of them. Yeah, I'm going to shield. <laughs> so you just, even before. I yeah. might not hit you, all of them. Uh, so the first one is a... Thirteen to hit. Nope. The second one is a uh, nine to hit. Ching ching. That's why I'm saying don't cast shield until it hits you. Oh. Then you don't spend. If I don't hit you, you don't spend spell slot. Right. I see. Sixteen to hit. No. Yes. Yeah. Do you want a shield? This is where the order of these attacks comes in, man, because it's a reaction to being hit by an attack. No, I won't shield that one. Okay. So one goes through. Uh, next one is 24. Yeah, I'm shielding. Okay, so... Uh, but does the shield boost your AC to what? 21. 21. So that still yes, hits you. No point, yeah, yeah, I'm not shielding then. Okay, you don't shield. The shield's coming up and down and up and down, but I'm not quite sure 17. Yet. Yeah. Do you shield? How many's left? Uh, three more three attacks. attacks this. Yeah. You do shield? Yeah, I'm shielding. So that one misses. Anything beyond this, I'm going to go down. Natural 20. <laughs> 25. Yeah, dude, I'm down. I'm well, we'll see, down. we'll see. Uh, 18 plus E, 23. Again, that hits. Natural 20 again. Oh, I'm absolutely Oh down. my god, that's so bad. Um, so that's 5, 10, <laughs> 20, 25, 35 points of damage. I'm down. All right, make a constitution saving throw. Amongst Technically, the, the attack that takes you down is only a 10 damage, so the DC is only 10. Have to ask, Mark. Yep. Are these individual attacks? They are all individual attacks, yes. Do we need to work out at what point I go down? Yes. Because then the moment after that would be yes. death saves, right? Yes. When did you oh go down? Oh my god. So you would have gone 5, mm -hmm. 10, mm -hmm. 20. I'm down. Oh and then he takes my god. the other three. Oh, Sam! <laughs> oh, no. So he, that's... <laughs> it's a swarm. They're not intelligent enough to hit you while you're down. Yeah, because that's the thing. Is the, the attacks I'm going to put on sentry. Do it. So that's <laughs> oh. they're, three they're, These things aren't intelligent. They wouldn't go like, oh, threat. They're just trying yeah. to decimate the field. Yeah. yeah. So that when we've done it before, it's been intelligent enemies. Yeah. To double but, that. That would have been but, six death, <laughs> saves, death fails even. But as you reach zero, you see the herald reaches out. Yes, life. Give it to me. And a part of something from Quill is pulled from his body and you see her form crackle with red energy as he is reduced to zero Every next to her. fucking Hadar thing we go against kills me. And yet you tell me that Starbane's okay. <laughs> Man, he's not. Sentry. Hang on, Hadar's let me do it. two new attacks against you. Can I quickly just do my concentration for my uh, shield of faith? Because I forgot to do it while Rook was doing the lightning. So... You only took six. It's DC 10. Okay. So it's uh, constitution saving throw. Seven. Seven plus constitution saving throw. This con is, that's 11. That's a pass, it's only cool. a DC right. 10. So the first attack against you is, uh, these won't have advantage because you're not in the swarm yet. Is a 20 to hit? Um, 22 cool. currently. 22, misses. <laughs> oh my oh god! My, are you using this I'm thing? using, this is a dice Nightjar bore me and it has rolled badly before. This Nightjar. is a, Nightjar, thanks. Sorry, uh, you take five points of damage. Cool. Uh, You've rolled so same, many natural twenties this session. Is insane. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I rolled one of those. You got a pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, pass. I need to do an injury check. You do. DC ten. Ten what? Like ten? 
I mean, DC 10. Four. All right, plus you, constitution. Plus con, yeah. Five. Okay. So now the next one is now the injury, right? E yeah. Well, in fact, we're now, we've got 15 minutes before we take a break, so I'm just going to roll this roll. Roll a d20. Oh, you oh, fucking kidding me? You're one. one. I'm taking the worst injury. Would you like to portance your injury roll? Yeah. Yes. You have to put it to a five, though, That's right? That's better like, than a one. That's better than a one, Quill. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. If I'm getting my portent back well, from that scene. Google Google Docs isn't letting me load the injury table right now. But so one is we'll, the worst we'll you can it. get, right? Yeah, you can port. I'll we'll let you portent it. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I would, I would portent it. As an FYI, He's staying to do it. As an do FYI, I, 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 I'm getting the portent back that shouldn't have failed yes. last time round. Yeah. Um, okay. But I mean, I'm using it in a better place, I think. So Quill is, he, and the thing is, for the rest of you, by the way, this is horrific because you just see Quill dragged beneath the bodies of these guardians, his little feathers, like his arm kind of reaching out, and then they just swarm over him towards Sentry. Um, so you don't actually see what happens to me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <sighs> Dana, this Durgar, looks towards Sentry um, and looks over at Maximilian and she looks at Maximilian and she's like, I can do something about them, but it's gonna... Your vows, Max. Uh, and he's just like, don't harm them, I gave them my word. You will obey me on this, Dana. And she's looking like, mm, if they... And she just says, if they come at me, I'm defending myself. And then she's gonna cast a spell at Harold. Cool. Uh, oh, Maximilian, what an MVP. She will... Uh, she's gonna have to use her cantrips at this point because she's pretty bad. You watch as she summons a firebolt and launches it towards Harold. Um, real bad. You need real to what? P. I need a real nervous wee. Yeah, so do I. Uh, <laughs> that is gonna be... They're gonna be sitting in the shaky toilets 18. in a bit. <laughs> Man, the firebolt screams up towards her, but whatever bond is between her and Rook just gives her enough of a deflection that the firebolt bounces off it. It doesn't do anything to him then. It, no, it miss. No, no. It's, he gets, she gets plus one AC while this spell's in effect. Um, Quill. Definitely. Saving throw time, mate, I'm afraid. Yeah. Five, that's one fail. That's one failure. Sentry. Um, I'm just going to wail at this group of yeah, butts. Yeah, the swarms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to make uh, two attacks. Uh, fuck, not one on one, nine on the other. Uh, add it up. The swarms um, aren't particularly hard to hit. So I've got eight for the first one. That's going to be a miss, nine, unfortunately, but the nine will probably hit. 16 on the second That's one. That's a hit. Yep. Do you want cool. a divine smite? Yeah, I'll divine smite that one. Okay. This does get extra bonus from them being undead. Nice, nice, So nice. 3d8. Oh, yeah. 3d8. Plus your normal weapon damage. Cool, so that's 3d8. Does that apply to the swarm as a whole? So 4d8. Yeah. Yes. I basically, all of their hit points are pulled, and then when you do 11 hit points, it knocks off Ten, one of them, which 13. means they get reduced attacks and stuff. 20 damage. 20 points of damage, okay. How many does um, that knock off? Just one dude? I think that's... 20 points would be only one, but it heavily injures another yeah. one as well. Um, I guess every 12 is a person. Yeah, so you turn... Cool. So there should actually be only six of them remaining now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. So there's only six of them left. Okay. They're not technically <sighs> after me, but... Well, the Herald is. So yeah, so you slam into one, the bright light of your Divine Smite eradicates one of these creatures and the rest begins swarming towards you. Anything else you'd like to do, Sentry? Oh, I can't do anything else. At okay, the Rook's turn. Rook will turn towards Ayla. Uh, you see him, uh, his sword becomes coated in a booming energy and he is going to use the booming, booming blade cantrip against you. What's that? He has advantage because you reckless. Boom! Right? <laughs> Boom! Uh, that was only a <laughs> 16 to hit. <laughs> no. So you clash with the hammer, ting, as it bounces off. Um, but he does have his reaction back now. Top of the round, Herald. Uh, she will look down at Sentry. Yes, successor. If I kill you, maybe, maybe finally this can end. She's going to throw a scythe at you twice. Cool. She has advantage on these attacks. Do you need to make empowered. a concentration save for you my. You took damage? Shield. Yeah. Yes, you will. Pass. Cool. Uh, that is only an 18 to hit you on the first Doesn't one. Hit. And that is only a 16 to hit you no. on the second one. <laughs> the scythe comes bouncing off. Nova. Mark, 
make a saving throw at the beginning of your Do turn. I get a fun coin? I forgot that um, Sentry would have had to have made it at the start of her turn. Do well. I get a fun coin? Because I failed so many of these saving throws. Sure, you can have advantage. Remind me what the fun coin does. It's advantage. advantage. It's uh, inspiration. It's basically Pretty inspiration. Much, yeah. yeah. We haven't used this rule in a long time, but because you have... Because no one's have, failed this yeah, badly. No, yeah, this is... This is a long failure. I feel like point. Lucius is probably owed one at this point yeah. as well. 18 plus 2, which is a 20! <laughs> <laughs> that succeeds. Hey. You succeed. Yes! Do some damage! He has an action. <laughs> thunder step? No, I don't have thunder step. Oh, um, dimension door. No, what I want to do... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm gonna, well, I'm, I'm going to dimension door, but this is going to hurt me, probably. I want to go to Quill. Grab Quill and, then and dimension. dimension Doorway. So that's going to be one set of opportunity attacks as you leave. So I'm going to leave this. Do you have enough? Here. To... So we'll find two out. attacks. 18 to hit on the first that's one. That's one. And the second, I'm going to make. I'm going to say can that I, the creature can, can make two. You. This would have been these guys, so you're not within yeah. 10 right, feet okay. to give the things. And then uh, 20 on the next one. That hits. So you're going to take. They're all now, so that's six points of damage. That's fine. Um, you run in. You don't take more attacks running into the swarm. You grab Quill's body, and then you can dimension door. I want a dimension door, I guess, like... <sighs> nice one. As far without without kind of being dangerously away. So I You would guys say move yourself where you need to. Probably, uh, like, here. Yes. When, oh you, when you get behind you, Dana looks round the Durgar, um, this kind of dark-skinned dwarf with long orange, flame orange hair. She's like, good move, Ganassi. Now I've got an opening. And you can see her, and she begins charging a very powerful looking spell. You can see her like, this kind of swirling <coughs> prismatic energy coalesces around her hands. Holy shit. Um, um, spooky. I can't use a cantrip or anything, can I? You've used your action to cast Dimension Door, so move, action. You have a bonus action left, but I, uh, you, the you're The only out. other thing, I, can, can I do a check on Quill, or is that like an action? action. Yeah. yeah, medicine check is an action. Doesn't matter, I, I, I'm in love with you right now. because <laughs> you said oh. you thought of me as a sister, Quill. My... Ship it. I'm so happy. <laughs> can I see if I can shove Rook out the way so that I can run yeah. past him yeah, without absolutely. getting an attack. Yeah, absolutely. That's, um, so, so you make strength. an athletics, yeah. It's this is your action though. You can't make any attacks after oh. This replaces your attack to shove him. Or knock him prone, basically. You can shove him or Does knock him Does he have prone. his shield up still? He doesn't have his shield up currently, but he could activate it if you try and hit him because it's a reaction on his turn and he has his reaction still. Or you could just tank the fucking hit. What? You could just Thanks. run past him and take an attack opportunity. You're a fucking Bob. You could probably take it. Mm. This dude yeah. and it, I mean, you look and there is a big giant knight in black armor coming up behind you as well. Like, I'll <laughs> run to beside Sentry. All right, so he'll get a free attack, which is only a three plus six, nine to hit you. So I would like to Whip through the air. Also, he's lost his reaction. Yeah, he has, yeah. Skelly Bobs. Uh, with that's cocked. Is this reckless? Oh, that's a magic 20! <gasps> um, no, reckless? no, no, no. Nope. There's so one's a normal, normal attack. Yep. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 on the first Both one. Hits. And so, one's an at 20. Right, so the crit, so, let's work out the crit first. So, what's your normal damage? Uh, D10. Right, so plus 10. Plus 5, so that's 15. Well, it's 7 because you're raging. 16, 17. So, 17 plus another D10 for the crit. Plus 8. 25. <laughs> Dude, that's two of them at least. Yeah, that's and two then, of them. And uh, then another hit, which is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. That's literally another one as well. Bam. Damn. Three more remain. So they've got about forty. Also the other swan there. Two more of them. So bam, you come oh. swinging in these big, wide, sweeping hits. Wham! One uh, feral guardian goes miles. Bam! The other one goes thrown against the building, smashing into the column as the, the barbarian comes swinging in, crackling with lightning. Deck save. Oh yeah. Aha. Fail. Two. <laughs> nice. Not enough to kill, but enough to blast them with a bunch of lightning as well as they stumble back. I'm out of practice. Maximilian! <laughs> I love him. What a God. cool name. I'm going to use my to eye on him to find out how I can spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> Maximilian Taldros comes in. I beat your um, green verb. <laughs> he, he comes storming up and it's just like, if you serve Hadar, you are my enemy! When he brings ah. the greatsword down in a sweeping uh, blow, 
I should have known. <laughs> yeah. As a bonus action, action, he's going to cast Blinding Sunlight on himself as he moves up. Ooh. More kind of rock guy. <laughs> two great sword attacks. Kill me, kill me. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, the first one, Rook parries. Ping! And then the second one, Rook parries again, just bouncing. Uh, uh, what the uh, shield the nerd? He's basically Sentry. He's the same AC as Sentry. They're basically built to do a similar thing, except he's an elf. Oh, he's so annoying. He's, he's a wizard He's just fighter. all armor. Yeah. yeah, he basically is. He's all armor and then a bit of magic, basically. Yeah, a tiny yeah. little um, rose sword. But him and, him and Maximilian are now clashing together. Their blades kind of smashing against each other. Um, after Max, Lucius. Okay, so I'm going to sacrifice a third level spell so I can gain five sorcery points. Okay, so that's your bonus action. And then I'm going to cast Chromatic <laughs> Orb. So I'm maxing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb once again for my final third Please spell slot. Are you going to twin it or are you just going to... Are you No. Okay. Because I've already used my bonus action. Well, I could twin it. You could, yeah. Separately, but I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm prepping to uh, do something else. Okay. Anyway. Plan. Chromatic Orb. See if you hit. Use these. Use, use don't anything except this your really Woo! <laughs> oh my god! Right, next next roll, you can have advantage. 100%. Thank yeah, you. you have have I've have missed like point. three or four now. You've yeah, missed man, like five. You could have asked me for it, man. Roll a four. Um, oh, um, now, now but Dichromancy? Yeah, so that would be seven. Seven points to, Harold, to her, please. Which, which is then does more bonded. damage yeah. to him. It does, yeah. He takes the same amount of damage. Um, I got that last time. It is when I just cast it. Yeah, it's when you cast a first level spell or higher. Um, you see that the, the energy, the red crackling energy around her does begin to fade as you kind of strike into it. It seems to be giving her some sort of temporary hit points. Um, but oh. yeah, you kind of, the energy smashes in and bounces off that. And then Rook also begins to glitch out uh, as he takes more damage as well. Now that Nova uh, can see me, what injury did I take? I, I can't load the thing. On oh, the okay. break, I'm going to try and load it. Sure. Uh, the Wi Fi it's hates bad. Google Docs in I here. can't remember bad. what five is. I think uh, it looks bad. It's just all bad. I'm Ferals. At least it wasn't one, that one. No, that's true. Ferals surround oh, Ayla no. and Sentry. Okay. Um, they are going to. You didn't reckless, did you? Nope. They will target. Um, probably Ayla because they see Sentry as another guardian, I think. So they're going to target all of the attacks on you. Uh, uh, they do get advantage because they're in your space. 17? No. Okay. Uh, 20? Yes. And they are under half, so 19. Yes. You take six, but it's three each, half to one, so you take two points of damage. Lol. <laughs> it's almost like these were designed for Ayla to be really good against. And Nova to be terrible <laughs> against. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so they begin staring at you. Sorry, you guys. You don't even I might have feel this. it. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't anything to do with you. It was just where was people moved luck. to. It was like, bad luck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Rook is just not... Oh, uh, he, was, he was scaring me, honestly. <sighs> We like, that's the thing is, like, I could have done against two more Rook, against but I Ayla. Didn't fire any oh. spells off. Uh, 17? Nope. Uh, 23. Yep. Three more points, half to one. I wouldn't so take Thank you. No, Wait, one. Uh, th I'm going to merge one, their hit yeah. points now. Yeah, I'm just going to merge their two hit points. So that's like. Uh, What's sticking them down? Two. Blue tech. Blue tech. Blue tech. Um, no. Amazing. Okay, so that swarm is now five little nerds. Yeah. And then there's Rook, who's a shield nerd, and then the Herald uh, is actually... Right. <laughs> However, <laughs> da Dana... <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. Oh, Dana, They moved on doing? to me! I was at the edge, they moved on to me. What are you doing, Dana? They would have moved on to Sentry anyway, regardless. Remember the vow, Dana. She's not Max. She's not Max. She ain't Max. She's mid. This girl ain't Max. What's she doing? Who's she killing? She turns Everyone. around. Quill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking take me with you, nerd. <laughs> so many nerds in this fight. Oh, why am I gonna do this? Am I really gonna do Just this? Just fucking do it. Do it, do it, Harold is there. That's she the problem. I mean, yeah, dude, if it hits the most enemies. And you, she's been charging this spell, and you see her, she looks at Sentry, doesn't really care. She looks at Ayla and there's this almost look of like, sorry kid, as you watch, as she brings her hands to bear and a 60 foot cone of shifting colorful magic. Holy shit. Like the Bifrost from Thor, this kind of swirling storm of nice different you. colors. Oh my I God. need to get the whole party, right? It's a deck yeah. save. 
Holy shit. Prismatic ray. The party will remember this. Prismatic ray. Spray. I will remember this. She can say sorry. And you see Max like, Jana, no! As she... Um, pretty cool. she I need. I'm really curious. Magic. Was it? Yeah, this might yeah, not it, help. It won't help. But... Uh, right, so it's a deck saving throw. You get a plus two to this Ayla. I and get. you will half any damage if damage is involved. I do get advantage because of danger sense. As well. You do. Damage so advantage on the saving throw. You make a deck saving throw. I'm not going to fucking roll for this swarm. They're dead. Uh, I will roll for the thingy. It's not great. Uh, for the Herald. Herald passes. 23. Pass? 10. 10. With your bonuses? Your plus 10. two and your. Ayla? 12. 12. Okay. Oh my god. What? Okay. Sentry. Right. As this form swirls past you, Herald. All right. As this this swirling storm of magic, you see a, a ray of blue hits the Herald, um, and you see this powerful cold begin to form over a body. Uh, Sentry, you see uh, this green wave passes over you, and your body is filled with toxins and poison oh, as it washes over you. Ayla, you are hit by a ray of indigo. Um, you succeeded on your save, though, didn't you? You yeah. passed the thing. Okay. You managed to throw yourself to the side before this thing fully strikes you. The, the feral guardians that the indigo ray hits begin turning to stone. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Oh, my God. And they God. fall down. Is, is the ray hitting sentry acidic? It is not. It's cold damage. No, 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 sentry, green. The green. Ones. green. The oh, the, that's poison. So I can't absorb any of these. Sentry. Oh, cold can. Yeah, but I don't want to just hit the herald. Oh no, sentry. How much health do you have, sentry? You don't have any resistance to poison or anything, do you? 33. She has resistance to all spells. You take, yeah. You're taking half of this, because oh, yeah. you have resistance to two, all spells. Thanks to Oath of the Ancients. So 10. That's a nice oath. 15. Do I get resistance to that with some beside her? Did you say that Quill has? No, this is no. You, you, don't, you don't take anything. 20. I don't take anything? No. Yeah, you've oh, missed I it. it. You've missed it. Oh. Yeah. You're out. You're fine. You're I thought I still take half, though. 32 poison damage, half to 16. Oh. Oh. Because of your Oath of the Ancients. Oh. Now I roll had... damage for the Herald. She would have had one oh, health. Shit. Oh, shit. And that's going to damage him, too. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> this is why Dana was like, I've got to take the shot, man. Yeah. It was so, a good shot. 10, Especially 20, with us two. We got lucky out. with that resistance. Hell yeah. We got lucky with that. We got lucky with Quill not 35 being cold damage, Ooh. halved, because okay. she did succeed on a save, to 17. 15, 17, um, which completely annihilates the protective layer around her. And you oh. watch as Rook now it's right, is please. nearly, you see like the same frost and cold around her is building up on Rook's body. And he's at nearly breaking point. You can see him shuddering and stuttering on the verge of death. Um, and then Dana kind of stands back as this prismatic spray is erupted. Quill, I need you to make a death saving throw, my friend. Ooh, okay. And I know it's break time, but I want to kind of get through this round. So it can't be a one. Oh my god, it's a pass. <sighs> Don't Why? say these things. It can't be a one. It was an 11. You remember, you've got to use your portent before you roll on your spell. No, I've used all my portent. Oh, but okay. I'm saying it if it's a one, it oh, would be you're... two deaths. So he's yeah, dead. you'd be dead. All right, so but it I was pass. a pass. Okay, I'm still up. Say B. Hello. It's your turn. Um, do I have a uh, Yeah, that swarm is annihilated. Like, all these different hues and colors hit them. Some turn to stone. Some of them are blasted by ice and fire. One of them just blinks out of existence. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Don't it's, want that yeah, ray. It's just teleport. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. color was that? You know it's what's all the different uh, elements. What color is that? Like violet. Spell. It was a violet ray. Mm. Um, as a point, you roll a d8 to see what color you're hit by. If you roll an eight, you get hit by two of them. Whoa. Oh. And it's 10d6 for the elemental damage. One of them, basically, you start turning to stone. The other one is you are... The other one is you're blinded, and then you make another save. If you fail that save, you're teleported to another plane yeah. of existence. Banished, yeah. Uh, it's not like you come back in a minute. No, you're gone. You're gone. Uh, That's a nice spell. Imagine if that had hit in her arm. Imagine if you'd fought those two. Mm. Right, uh, still good. Still good. Uh, Can I? <laughs> Harold is flying above you. She's like, no, no. If I climb up on that pillar, will I be level with her to make melee attacks? Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. Make an athletics check for me. It's part of your movement. Hubba! Ten. Ten. 
10. Can I cheer her on and go, yeah, Cedric, go! <laughs> Does that give her any boost? Can you yeet her up? You got it! Can I can I yeet her up the pillar? How much, what HP are you on? Uh, 17. 17. You're going to take four points of damage as you're kind of having to bed yourself in, but I'm going to let you climb up to the top of the oh. pillar. Can yeah. I yeet her? Yeah, you do. You she yeet her. Yes! And she smashes against the stone as you do so. Nice. Sorry! You climb up to the top, pull yourself up, and you meet Harold eye to eye now as she's kind of hovering this like 20 feet above you kind of thing. Nice, nice, what nice. do you do? Attack? I want to attack her, yeah. Okay, two attacks. Two attacks. Whoop, whoop. Do it! Nat yeah. 20 on one, 17 oh. on the other. There I'm it is! Assuming you want to divine smite that Nat 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There it is! Right. She's not three. undead. So, right, we're going to work this out. What's your normal damage? My normal damage is 1d8 plus 4. Right, so you're going to do 8 plus 4 is 12. Oh. Yeah. Roll another d8 for your weapon. Bump it up. That's 7. Plus 4, 19. 11. 19. 19. Yep. So the 2d8 for Divine Smite would do another 16. So that's 27, 35. 30, 33. 35. 30, sure, I'm going to take your math on it. 35. 19. Now roll another 2d8. Yeah. Fuck me. Uh, 7 in total. 42. 3 and a 4. 42, 42 points damage. points of damage. Oh, oh, does, Rook, does Rook take that? She's still resistant because of the warding bond. So, like, so she takes 21. 20, 51. Yeah. However, Rook, Sentry, you kind of feel the power of this attack flow through you. The axe collides in and you channel everything from your matrix. Every sense of protective feeling, all the, all the memories of Solven just flow through into your arm as the axe connects and it breaks whatever barrier was between her and Rook. And she shrieks, howling in pain. And for a moment, you see the vulnerable guardian, this desperate plea that she doesn't want doesn't want this. Yeah. That she knows that what she's done is wrong. As the bite blazes through, you feel the kind of thing. And then you just look over and you see Rook just collapse to one knee. He like looks up at you, holds the sword, <gasps> salutes, <gasps> and falls down. Fuck. Rook down, just one enemy left, it's the Herald. <laughs> the only person who's near enough to hear what he says is Maximilian. He says something as he Fuck. falls, but you don't hear it. Oh. Ah! Oh. Rook dies. And I'm too down to hear it. And with that, we're at the start of a new round, and I oh, think we need a break. Oh my god, we need a break. Ah, yeah. we? There's I mean, one enemy yeah. left. You need a break. We're going to take a break. We're going to be back in like five minutes. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to read donos and try oh, and get the We'll see you working. very soon. See you in a bit. Go take a break. Uh, wow. Well, this is an exciting combat, isn't it, chat? Welcome. Um, welcome. Halfway through, welcome. Christ. I'm going to try and get my uh, my shit working as well. Do you want anything? Do you want snack or anything, Mark? Uh, no, I'm all right. Thank you, though, friends. Uh, right. Nightjar, some wonder Nightjar passed on a message for us. Some wonderful gift subs from Maverick Pelvis, CRG King 3434, Ailey Wolf, Area of Chaos, Cooper Orc, Cataclysm 7, Daft Day 41, as usual, a bunch of lovely resub subs and bits under 300. Also, thanks for the shout out, Mark. Kappa Chat was very kind, Kappa. Uh, no worries. You got a five, didn't you? Do you want to know what you got? Oh, yeah, what's my injury? Bro oh, no, say it in a bit. Then okay, all right, we'll say it in a bit. Um, right, donations. We, Jamie. We wanted to stay for this one. Jamie, uh, $10, thank you very much. Sentry sees the Her Majesty's Rose. I found you, Faker. Rook. Faker? <laughs> I think you're the fake royal god around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake- I think you eat those words! <laughs> I'm assuming that's from Chaos Twins. I don't understand it, but thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Dr. K. Barent, thank you so much. Hey guys, love all the D&D. Your game inspired me to give my players a boat, and they're loving it, thanks. But got to ask Mark, are you able to give out the injury table and rules on Patreon or something, how you keep track of boat stuff like supplies? I don't really keep track of the boat stuff. I don't have a system for that, but I will try and post up the injury table on my Patreon. How about that? Ola Renve, thank you for the donation, but no message. Uh, Mr. Altissimo with a half hundred. Thank you so much, my dude. Uh, hello, everyone. Great. Glad to see the whole gang back together again. Always the best way to start and end my week. Keep going, you beautiful people. Thank you very much. Matcha Jojo. Goodbye. Uh, hey, high rollers. Uh, quarter hundo. Finally get to watch live. Been busy running my own campaign. You guys inspired me to start. Thanks so much for all the great trims. You're most welcome, Matcha Jojo. Mm. Cat Griff. The gang's all here. Thanks for being amazing, as always. Thank you, Cat Griff. 
a ale wolf. Uh, been waiting to donate, uh, wanting to donate for a while. A small thank you for all the years of entertainment. Keep up the great work, guys. Thank you so much for your generous donation as well. Metamanu, as always, quarter hundred. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate the support. Welcome back, Katie. Congrats, Mark, for the published work. And thank you, sponsor Gnome. It was priceless. Oh, and welcome back, Kim's red hair. Gorgeous. I will pass that on for you, Mana. Manu. Uh, command prompt, hey guys, would love to see a guest appearance from a CR member like Travis or Liam or Tallison. An interesting thing uh, that would be if the gang met Macaroni. I don't know who Macaroni is. I don't think that might, might, that might be from one of their guest slots. Glad to have you back, Katie and Kim. Love your hair, girl. Tom, get on that Bane spell, burb boy. Bane? Bane's good. Um, we would love, I'd love to have any of the CR guys on as a guest. We did have Matt for the Christmas special once. But yeah, if they're over in the UK and they want to come play, like, yeah, we're not going to say no. Uh... Deline Dan, uh, thank you very much. Hey guys, VOD Squad today, ugh. Welcome to hell, Katie. Hope you had fun, good luck, don't die, love you all. Uh, Hyperel, uh, hey guys, can't catch today's episode, but I bet it will be a great one like always. Currently in a bit of a downer period, so I'm behind on the streams and some stuff, but I'm welcoming a little art piece for Century, so I'm slowly getting back into it. Thank you very much, I hope you feel better very soon. Hyperlol. Nightjar said something in uh, Cantonese? What? Okay, ho yeah, G that I can't. I'm really bad at pronouncing it, dude, and I don't want to butcher it. What does it say? Thank you. Uh, loving the new hair, Kim. Katie, welcome back. Looking forward to another chaotic Tuesday, Tom and Re. Congrats on the published adventure, Mark Trot. What's up? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, sure. I, 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 I don't even know where to begin with that. I don't even know where to begin. You know, like Chun, like Chun Li. Like yeah. Chun's yeah. That's the bit I struggle with. I, I, that, I, 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 my mouth doesn't I'm make those noises. So. Okay. Uh, X your fan, X100. Ha, quarter hundo. Watch Lightfall and Rois in two months. Now I'm caught up to present day. Wow. That is impressive. That's like 200 odd episodes in a month. Uh, two months. Good old C, thank you very much. Hi, 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 rollers. Hope you're doing okay today. My birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, got into D&D four years ago today, then saw the highlight videos on Kim's channel. Hope the silver HR dice are helping Re. Last thing, Mark is great compared to my DM. When we die in, guy, when we die in game, we go down a level. That's like an old 3.5 thing. I don't know if that's um, in the core rules for 5th edition anymore. Uh, Yoav0307. Hello, everyone from Israel. First time... I'm catching you guys live and just want to say thank you so much. Keep up the amazing work. Also wanted to thank you, Mark, for inspiring me to DM my first game last week. Love you all. Thank you very much. I will continue reading those when we finish. Welcome back, friends. Um, still in combat. We are still in combat. We are in, still in the last, the last moments as only the Herald remains. Oh, God. But oh. Nova... Much. As you look down, before we jump into initiative, Nova, as you look down, you can see that Quill's one remaining arm... Oh, my God! ...is broken. What? Like, you mean broke, like, his... his <laughs> or that arm. Arm! I thought arm. you said eye! I thought you said no, eye! I was I like, so we got a blind bird now? It's one... one remaining... I thought you meant, like, his eye is So when you ported like... the five, this is the five. Oh, what would the come one on. Been? The one is... Uh, I just have it down here as grievous injury. The character suffers a terrible grievous injury mm. such as losing an arm an eye a permanent limp or severe head trauma like amnesia yeah so it's the, basically uh, the worst possible option before the campaign started i nat won the critical role and that's why i lost my arm yeah i broke my other arm yes oh, for god's sake. so but it is it is fixable, fixable with injury uh spells what, so. what does that mean for me though in terms of so with a broken arm the affected arm is unusable. You cannot hold or use items in that hand, losing their benefits. You cannot make attacks with that hand. You have disadvantage on strength checks and saving throws. For you, you automatically fail them as both of your arms are disabled. You cannot cast spells with somatic components that inquire you to gesture. Can I help him? No. Different schools of magic. Like hold his hands up nope. and like... No, that would hurt. Yeah. You <laughs> Work through it! <laughs> so, okay, that's with good. that in mind, but you're still unconscious right now. The Herald. You don't know about this face. Sentry, yet. you get an attack opportunity. Oh, oh. oh no. No! No, I can't fail here. I've I've done too much! She flies away, you get an attack opportunity. This is your reaction for the turn, however. Six plus seven. Her AC is now reduced back to 18. Yeah, I wanna hit her. You did hit her? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. So you kind of swipe at her, but she flies away, the scythe kind of blocking the strike. 
Um, she moves <laughs> where lots of enemies are within her aura, um, and then she's going to throw her scythe at uh, probably Dana, actually, because Dana just did this incredibly powerful spell, and she's afraid of what that could mean. So that is going to be a hit, followed by, and that's cocked, another hit. Uh, this is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, not at the end of the day, this is an NPC who gives a shit, right? Yeah, it's an NPC. <laughs> well, she did just, she like, did attack yeah. two of us, so yeah. she broke the oath. 12. Oh, no, she melted, like, 12. the herald, though. 26, 28. Very good. Kind of down, <laughs> but also. But she could have sent us into a, a different plane she, never to come back. Yeah, yeah. she didn't. could have. <laughs> uh, she absolutely could have. Not through her choice, but through the nature of the magic. You see, however, the, the, the two strikes, the two scythes, like tear, like cut her and throw her off balance. She's quite badly injured by those two strikes. Oh, damn. Um, oh, damn. As she stumbles back. Uh, Nova, where are you? You're miles I'm away. away. I'm here. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I am not doing any wisdom saving throws. Use your action. I have an action. Fine. And with that action, I'm going to place a hand on Quill and cast Spare the Dying. Uh, on him. You yes. no longer need to make saving throws, Quill. Oh, good. <coughs> but I'm not... You're not up. Oh. Um, I, I've got... Uh, do you have any... Does, do you have any potions on you or anything? Like, Can I use my bonus action, action to arrive? No, that'll be But it's always been an action to feed a potion to somebody else. Well, even just, just to, to search, look, to see to if he's search got through his... You can search. Okay. Tom, do you have any hidden potions on you? Uh, I do, but also I guess in searching, does she also find the wand? The guardian wand? No, she's looking for a potion. She's, she's looking, looking, looking for a potion. <laughs> Yep. You find a potion. It's a bit yeah. late for that what, now. Regular healing potion. Uh, greater. Oh, uh, greater. Uh, one greater. Okay, so potion. if I can just, yeah. Just so next turn you can use yeah. that. Ayla. Um, I'm just gonna. At the oh, start hi. of your turn, oh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Bum. Three. Three. Oh. This is a charm effect, so you have advantage. Ooh. You are an elf. I keep forgetting about that. Eleven. <laughs> so oh, you, wise. you have to use your action <laughs> to make an attack against a random enemy within range. Um. If it's an enemy at range, if you don't have a ranged weapon, you're gonna throw the hammer. Well, I've got 45 feet of movement, so. No, it's you, before oh, you I move. can't move. It's just immediately at the start of your turn, you're like, ah, you have to attack. This oh, is the oh, aura it encourages madness. Well, let's see who you roll. Yeah, uh, do you see why I've been What's annoyed? the throw range? <laughs> um, for a weapon, I'd say like 30 feet maximum range. So Lucius is gonna be out 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I will roll a d6. Sentry. Oh. You kind of, uh, you think the herald flies over and you just, whoo, so make a uh, weapon attack with disadvantage. Uh, they have the same roll. Um, 19. 19, does that hit sentry? That's hit sentry. Cool. The hammer, however, goes. Whoo. Nice. Oh. Uh, I have this one prepared. Then, it's yeah, like yeah. you kind of react and then you snap out of it and you're like, fuck! You have a move God and, damn it! You have a move and a bonus action left. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my hammer! So you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. What if I could just trudge over and pick it up. <laughs> Sorry, dude! <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're now out of the range of the aura. Uh, <laughs> that's your go, unfortunately. I've been so useless. <laughs> Maximilian oh, at the beginning of his Maximilian at the beginning of his turn makes a wisdom Bad saving throw. Oh god, not Oh no. Natural twenty. Oh, oh he's a paladin! He's like he's like he just Does he have like swishy hair that just like uh, he but he looks a bit like Ganondorf from Legend of Zelda. He has bright very similar to Ayla's, like bright okay. orange red hair. Dark grey skin with almost like um, little ridges of stone in his face, um, but black armor. Very handsome, like a paladin. He's like a, a callous paladin. A callous paladin. Kaladin. 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 <gasps> oh, Stormblade. Oh, oh, fuck. He Stormblast. looks up, Wait. See, <laughs> sees her, um, and he just kind of lowers and he's just like, You have been corrupted for too long, Guardian. He brings his hand back, and you see this kind of searing hot white flame as he casts Guiding Bolt at fourth level. Ooh. Guiding Bolt? Go on, Kaladin. Wait, is, is he doing that as fire? Yeah. Oh, cool. It looks like fire. Ah. However, oh, it's no. not enough to hit. Uh. <laughs> kind of sails past as she kind of ducks to the side. At least he didn't hit anyone else. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah. He's just like, ah. Uh, no. He can use his guided strike, recharges off to short rest, 
Uh, when he makes an attack, he can add plus 10 to the bonus to the attack roll. The guiding bolt slams oh into God. her. What? It's a once per use thing he can thing. do. Oh. Everyone but has still. Two, Worth it. Three, four. Everyone has advantage five. against her now as well. Yeah, oh, because it's, yeah, because it's lit up. She's lit and up. And it was fourth level, so like it's 76. Tree. That's great. That's awesome. Not high damage. I rolled real bad. Eh, still. But I mean, the advantage is uh, 10, super 15, useful. 20 points of damage. Is she still taking half? 20? Oh my god. No, she's no longer taking half as well, as Rook is now down. So the Guiding Bolt slams into her and just surrounds her in this white fire um, that seems to make it easier to strike at her. Uh, nice. And he's like, now! Strike her now! Uh, I'm trying Lucius. to go through and find some somatic spells. Okay, here we go. Lucius, god he's going to do it. You've got, You've got fun dice. You've got fun dice. No, but he you've got advantage, advantage anyway. anyway. <laughs> She's lit up. <laughs> Double advantage. <laughs> what are you doing, Lucius? So I'm going to... Fourth, fifth level. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but I'm going to use my sorcery points to regain a fourth level slot. Yeah. Ooh. And then I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb with advantage acid on this song bitch. Song bitch. Oh, oh my god. god. How did you... Is Two now. I mean, dude, like, I, I, there's no, like, I can't do anything. I, 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 the system doesn't let me help you now. I can't do anything. That's mad. I've given I... you everything I could. Oh, I can't God. believe it. That's crazy. How? Can you just roll again? Just, just, I want to see, roll again. What was the advantage? Eight and eight. <laughs> Two eights. I mean, like, that's better, but still. I'm cursed. Jesus. Oh. You know what? Time just to... I think since you started playing Lucius, like when you played Cam, you had relatively okay luck. Since you started playing Lucius, <laughs> your dice just since hate you. Lucius post gusthaven has been shit. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> this is just... This You're bothering. all again. There's a lot just to deal please, with, though, just... I went through a period of... Four and a five. No, you can't roll above ten. I'm cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 12 and an 8. There you go. Try that Oh, one. you're using the oh. My Little Pony Bless dice. Use that dice. for one roll. <laughs> yeah. that, that dice is hideously broken. Does he get fun dice on his next one? Jeez. Dana. Oh, yes, start you, start you Dana's turn. Wisdom the saving throw. Anyway. Oh, what's oh. Dana going to do now? Fails. Oh. Cool. Uh, Hit Max. What no. sort of cantrips does she have? Hit her. <laughs> Firebolt. What's Which, the range on that? It will hit you too. <laughs> One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. I'm standing in front of eight. him. I'm, I'm like, I'm like standing over. Does he get cover? It's random, dude. He's my body he will is get cover. cover. He will get cover. It's random. He's stable at the moment, though. Oh no! Is it in me? What did I say? Six was? Uh, Nova. One, two. Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Nova. It might sure. be Rama, actually. No, no, because no, it Rama was, was six, eight. seven, eight. Yeah. All right, Nova. Nova, a firebolt comes streaking towards you. 23. That's going to hit. I don't think that would have been two um, death saves on me anyway. Death fails. No, it's melee attacks that cause two. You've taken one. Uh, 14 points of fire damage, Nova. As Dana turns around like, where, where are they? Ah! And then she looks and she's like, ah, fuck this, Herod, this guardian. And she's going to back off as much as she can. Stay the fuck away from me! In fact, I'm gonna say that to her. Stay the fuck away from me! I've got to get out of the thing that's fucking with Go my mind! Go that way! <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't listen. I'm deaf. Quill. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm on you're conscious, but you're, on, yeah, you're yeah. just unconscious. Okay. Sentry. Um, uh, you are 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20, 25. You are within range. Wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, bada Oh my god. That's an eight in total, and that one. Uh, one, you don't have any ranged weapons, you're gonna have to throw your axe with this. So the only uh, person yeah. you can really hit is her or Ayla. So we're gonna do a d4, a d2. One to two, three to four. Three, you go for the arrow. You're throwing you the arrow. throw the axe, it's with disadvantage. Cool. But you throw your battle axe this towards is, this her. This is when she just gets right. like, the most incredible roll. I hope it's another nat 20. That I'm just going to be running about this no, battle. No, it's a four. Yeah, she she has to throw it. It's a disadvantage because it's... Oh, but that would cancel out. So Great. it's still just a plain four. Yes, yeah, so it's 11 in total. 11 in total is not enough. The axe just goes... So you throw the axe. The axe Boom. is now <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> And, just, and then you snap out of it and you're now stood on top of the column. Uh, you have yeah. a, uh, a move and a bonus action left. I got 
got to get off my pillar now and go get my... Well, I will say, the axe lands next to Her Majesty's Rose, which lays on the ground <gasps> next to Rook. I'm going to go look, go for a wander then. I'm going to so jump down and have a look. Jump little... down? Climb, climb down carefully. Athletics check, please. She's only done it. <laughs> I mean, superhero landing would look baller, but I don't think you want to do that on your 18. low hit points. 18 is enough, yeah, fine. Yeah. So it takes you 20 feet of movement to climb down, yeah. so you have 10 feet of movement left. Five, ten. Yep. There I am. Pretty much it. There I am. Uh, Rook is dead. Uh, I keep forgetting about Rama. He's just going to start running. He's probably going to run towards Quilla Nova because uh, he doesn't think he's going to be much help here. It's like, oh, is, is he dying? Or what? We need to heal him. I need to be healed. I'm just like, like I'm steaming at this point. I'm like literally on I, I, fire. I, 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 can, <laughs> I can bandage him if you need me to, but uh, <laughs> uh, Harold's go. Where are you going, Ooh. Looks down at Maximilian. Oh! You. You serve him. The enemy of all of us. You have betrayed us, successor. You ally with the forces of our enemy. She's going to throw a scythe at him twice. First is a natural one. Second one is an 18, which is his AC, I believe. Yes, it is. So the one strike hit. hits true. Got Max. Uh, 11 and 15. Got Max. 25. 27 points of damage to Max. 27? That's a lot of damage. From yep. one hit? Yeah. Her what scythe, kind of like, uh, psychic and slashing. The Holy scythe crap. slashes, and then you get, like, a surge of psychic energy. I hit mm. Lucius for, like, 21. I actually rolled kind of bad. Um, <laughs> Could have been better. Nova! <laughs> you have called quite a great healing potion in your hand. I've also got two hit points. Quill is your brother. And he is the best. But it's an action to give him or, a potion. Or a bonus action to heal you. And he's stable. I'm going to give With Rama the potion and tell him to give it to Quill. Okay, yeah, he'll do that. And then I'm going to... Sure. I'm going to say, you protect him with your life. All right. And then can I just move... Not much use against that, so sure. I just want to get away from, sure. like... Auras and lines and bolts. So I mean, she's I flying up in the air, so she doesn't like no cover or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna Eldritch Brass. Yes. Uh, so yes. It's advantage on both, right? Yeah. Yes. Involved. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's until. Let me just oh, check it on. that would have cancelled out. Oh wait, no. We yeah, did that already. Uh, until before the end of Max's next turn. So yes, you do have advantage. Twenty-three on one hit. That's a oh, hit. Nice. 12, 20 on the other one. That's just, yep, that hits. Ooh. AC of 18. Ooh. The first is a one. Second is a seven, so eight points in total. Nice. <laughs> kind of blasts her, she kind of stumbles back. She's looking hurt, but I mean, there's still fight left in her. <clears throat> She's still dangerous at this point. Yeah. Um, Ayla. We didn't discuss how many charges my hammer has. Once per day, it does say in the description. Does it? It says in the item's description, it might not appear Damn in the it. short form, but it's once per day. Okay. I can't really do a whole... She's floating about 20 feet up. I can't jump that high. Throw the hammer, though. Again. Yeah. She made you throw it. Reckless it, and then you won't have... In fact, you have advantage, so that cancels out. And if you're reckless, you'd get advantage again. <laughs> Wait, what? How would I get advantage <laughs> first, then? Get triple advantage. Because uh, uh, Maximilian's going bolt. Oh, of course, yeah. Um... <laughs> eat it, eat it. But you only get one attack if you throw it, obviously. Better than nothing. If I can throw the hammer you at her. You have to move within 30 feet of her, though. That's the only problem. So she's like... Oh, so within the aura. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You'd have to move up to there. And oh, you could move in, throw it, and then move back. You could actually, yeah. You could move in, throw it, and then back off. <laughs> sure. Sure. So Let's Reckless, you have advantage. No, I have so advantage anyway. You had advantage, but that's cancelled out because the hammer isn't meant to be thrown. Okay, so... And then you get <laughs> advantage because you're recklessing. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, 13... Um, 15, 20, 21. Rose. Yeah, that still hits, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage with the hammer. And she's not in my aura. No, but the hammer still, like, clashes her in the head. 
And then the hammer kind of Yeah! Fast. Bitch! <laughs> just pick up the hammer. It's just like a, a, a litter of weapons over yeah. there. Or do you, so you've used like five feet of your movement. Do you want to back out of her aura or run after your hammer? Uh, I'll back out for now. Okay, so you just basically back up to the yeah. wall again. Because okay. I'm like, eh. I'm not very wise. This is fucking sure. me up. Dude. I mean, there's like bodies of dead guardians around you. Oh, can I just take weapons off of those? They don't, don't, they don't you. have weapons, but you could like rip off an arm. Sure. I'm just gonna throw Improvise shit. Improvise club. Yeah, mm. you can do that. Uh, so that's Ayla's go. Well, you don't have any range, do you? Maximilian. Not yet. Like once you lose Why I hammer. keep telling her to get like a bow or something. If you got any aura. Uh, that was Concrete cocked. Six. If I got what? Quill's got a gun. Max, 19 on his wisdom saving throw. Bam. Um, okay. But he is running low on spells and he's taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah. Uh, he will... Right. He will move up to the Her Majesty's Rose, pick it up, and throw it at the sentry. Two, two sentry, right? Yeah, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he picks it up and he's like, I think this is yours. And he throws it to you. Cool. Um, and then he's going to heal himself, because he's really hurt. No, it's the, it's it's the, the other, other one. one. Oh. The other. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the hammer, no. The, 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 okay, never mind. <laughs> You get the impression that yes, he knows that the back <laughs> is, is hers. Yeah, we know. But He's this is choosing cool, to throw. I like to think that Ayla's saying, standing, she's standing on. Earned. <laughs> He's standing on the other side. Ayla's like, no, no, hammer, dude, <laughs> hammer over here. No, he doesn't. He doesn't care about you. He's got respect for Sentry. <laughs> care about me, you bitch. What a bro. <laughs> uh, that's his turn, and then he's actually going to back out of this aura so that he can heal. Him. Backs out to there. He's already healed, so he uses a, a bonus action. He healed action. me. Uh, no, he's not going to heal you. <laughs> yes, Lucius. Yes, All right, know. then. Lucius. Please. Please. <laughs> uh, the Guiding Bolt aura fades from him. <laughs> uh, well, either I can do an acid splash, and it's your rolling yep. to save it. <laughs> I feel yeah. like my advantage is better odds. So I'm sure. going to try. I'm going to give you advantage. I'm going to give him advantage for fun coin. Well, we've got the guiding. No, no that goes fine. at Max's turn. Fun but I'm going to give you fun coin. Also, you've got the My Little Pony, <laughs> and that is unbelievably so, powerful. Two. Yeah, it's a chromatical but level two. Hands. Level two. That's a five. Oh god. Five advantage. Hmm. Eleven. So it's not 18. that powerful. It's just enough oh, to oh, yes! her AC. He oh, got it though. Pass me the the. Fuck me. No, See? Five, this eight. dice is fine. Put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. No, it's, uh, it's his rolls. You're not allowed this. Nobody else is allowed this except Anymore? Lucius. I've got D8 here. Wait, how many D8? 12. D8? I've got two. He's not got been rolling above ten. I got it, Kim. This is fine. No, no. This dice is fine. Not when he rolls. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, okay. Oh. 15. That's a 22. Like that. 22. Damn. Nice. I Heavy blow, and then Dichromancy, it's level two, yeah, so but six. Yeah, can't really go anywhere. Yeah, you can hit you can her. It says another creature, but okay, I'll let we, it. We've done it before done where it. I've let you hit the same creature, so. There's no other creature to hit with it. So. Yeah. All right. That blow, like, you can see that now the Herald is beginning to falter her wings. One of them is almost, like, flickering, like, and she's kind of, like, struggling to stay stable. She reaches up one hand, no, 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 and she's, like, clutching at her mind. Um, desperately swimming around in the air as the acid is like burning away and she's desperately trying to get it off of her body and her form. Um, anything else, Lucius? I'm gonna stir. <laughs> you can't move the whole fight, right? I'm gonna shout. Maybe it's time to use its echo. Okay. Do that. Hopefully. Okie dokie. Hopefully. Oh, actually, I'm messenger ring that. Okay. I'll messenger ring that. I think the appropriate visual symbol. We're gonna messenger ring that. Cool. Is that the symbol? Yeah. Oh yeah, we decided. Yeah. We decided, we decided that when you messenger that. ring, you do this to yeah. indicate. Uh, Dana just <laughs> runs over towards Max's side um, and leans in and says something to him. Cool. Dude's got a vow. Like Dana, Quill. fuck off, all right? Uh, do nothing. You do nothing. <laughs> um, oh, oh, Rama goes on Dana's turn, so he would heal you on this turn. Ah. Okay. Um, I, I keep forgetting about him because he's useless. 10. 14 hit points. 14? Yep. You got not useful. No useless? He, he, he yeah, poured a potion no in someone's mouth. That's good. That saved someone else doing it. Yeah, I mean, four, I don't expect 14. Yeah, that's pretty that's good. Like, yeah. uh, can I try yeah, and, you needed the try and on that. get up without arms? Uh, yeah, Rama can help you stand up. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do I have? 
16. Oh, uh, Mr. Bird, I think that your arm is, is in quite bad shape. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you say that to him? No, I don't. <laughs> I know, I know, dude. Um, <laughs> all right, can I use command on the Herald? Is it a somatic spell? It's just verbal. Then yes, you can. Uh, it's a Wisdom's 15 save. I want to tell her to land. She has magic resistance, so she has advantage. Don't care, land. What's the DC? 15, land. Uh, where's her saves? <laughs> 26. Damn it! That's cool. That's fine. I mean, you tried. You tried. Do I have any other movement left? I guess 15 feet, right? Yeah. We could try the. I'm going to run the backwards. Sentry. Pounce off shield move again. Um. Uh, you are within her aura. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Rock and rock and rock and yep. roll. An extra plus two. 18. That's plus yeah. you, seven. You, yep. You resist. Fantastic. Amazing. Right. I'm going to use my flame lance and aim it at one of her wings. Oh, it's the uh, wand kind of pops out of the wrist. <laughs> yeah. DC Roll 13, it. save. On dex, yeah? Yeah. So she's going to pass, but she takes half damage. It's a 3d10 halved. Yep. Oh, nice. 8, 16, 24 halved. 24 oh, nice. halved is 12. Oh, almost perfect damage. That's pretty awesome. One hit point over her maximum. Oh! Ooh. She did it! The wings yes. are blasted. Um, the sentry, now you take damage from this. Yeah, six. So six, are you still up? I'm still up. Okay, so you watch as the beam of energy fires from sentry's arm and it annihilates half the one half of all of her wings. They just flicker out of existence and a big scorch mark up her arm and across her face as she just spins and tumbles and thuds into the earth. We are now out of initiative. Oh. Um, before Ma Max like steps forward and he's like, I'm sorry, please do not. And then Dana grabs his arm and is like, enough. And then they, whoosh, you watch as they're covered in like a shimmering force. And then they, whoosh, up into the air. What well, they've, oh no. She plane shifts them. Oh, I wanted to go. Whatever you need to do, Sentry, do it quickly. They might be going for reinforcements. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the echo and yeah. stand over the guardian. Okay. And just, I'm just going to say, fulfill your purpose and just hold the, Guardian over her matrix. Or okay. hold the echo over her matrix. Okay. I'm gonna go get my hammer. <laughs> so Segment. you watch Just as Sentry sorry. holds this angelic golden echo and its light blinks with a golden power. The guard, the fort heralds is this dark crimson red. And you watch as energy begins forming out of them, twisting towards each other like tendrils seeking each other. And in the air they grip and you begin to watch a power balance oh, as shit. her corrupted influence tries to reach the echo and then the echoes reaches back. What do you do? Um, I'm just going to try and use as much as my own power as possible to try and force the good energy into this guardian, try and help it along, try and help Make a charisma saving throw. Oh, that's Eleven. Can I jump down? Yeah. Knowing that I have a connection with the echo yeah. and assist. So you begin rushing over and touch the echo as well. And what do you do? I'm just going to imbue it with all the power that I have as well. And okay. yeah. What is that? What kind of power are you imbuing into it? Is this your sorcerer power? Do you want to expend spell slots? Is this sorcery points? Is this just your will? What is this? I'm focusing on more of a will power and I'm conjuring the memories that the Echo had and trying to enhance them with my innate sorceress abilities going through the prismatic gauntlet. Okay. If I can. So are you, are you, you're not spending spell slots though, you're just basically trying to channel your... I mean, it's, yeah, this is... I'll wipe out all my second level, so two slots of second level. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so two slots of second level. Let's roll 2d8. So what did you get in total for your Christmas saving throw? 11. 11. The two of you together. Lucius, you focus through the alternator that your sister made. You focus that sorcerer at it, that sorcerer energy, the power that you know somehow connects with the echoes and the matrixes. But it becomes mingled with your own memories as well. The, the images of Adea and Gusthaven and all the, the hardships you've endured. And it begins melding with Sentry's own memories. And the two of you almost have a moment of connection where you 
see things from centuries' memories. Mm -hmm. You see moments in the royal palace, uh, the feelings of elation at being in Solvin and looking after the, the princess. Uh, you see Queen Astoria, this beautiful, magical regent, um, smiling uh, as she walks past with her guards in the royal garden. Century, you also feel many of Lucius's memories. You see moments of heartache and hardship, um, being bullied outside of a jousting field by various other elves, um, moments of feeling alone in a room with nothing but a canvas and paints, um, but also moments of kindness with Nanny Norfear and many others. And the two of you, these memories mingle together, and outside you see the golden beam from the echo begins pushing the red back and back and back until finally it touches Harold's matrix, and it erupts in golden light, and her whole form changes from a dark black metal into a shiny metallic. She is still dying, however. Oh. <laughs> Can I run up? This. Can you make, how much can you run? <coughs> 30 foot, but so, dash, 60. Okay, so you get there in about two rounds. Uh, I mean, I could, I could rush over as well. Yep. I can, I can cast healing spare word. The dying. So yeah, I mean, so you cast spare the dying, you cast healing word, because you need 30 foot of range. 60. So, oh, perfect, so you can do that in one turn. So what are you doing it at? Uh, and is it somatic or verbal? It's just, uh, just verbal. Verbal, perfect. Um, so I'll do that at level two. Okay, so 2d4 plus your wisdom. And then Nova, you're rushing over, trying to kind of channel the energy as well. Ayla, you begin making your way over, seeing this kind of take place. Um, so six HP. Six HP. So Sentry, you kind of break the, the moment and you feel the echo. The echo still itself, it still kind of moves, it still has its own power. And you watch as this new, reef, like, golden herald her eyes, her kind of main eye, this single focused eye in the center of her head and this halo erupts in light as well. Um, and she reaches up and the first thing she sees is the two of you as you're obviously looking down at her at Echo. Uh, and her head kind of turns around, the, the eye pulses as if blinking. And uh, she looks. Sentry, sentry unit of Solvent. Harold. You must go to Volcanos. The Prime needs you. You must go now. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What's happened? What's happened? Why do I need to go now? It is your purpose. The Guardian race is dying. You must take on the Matrix. You must become the Prime. What? Become? What does that, what does that mean? What, what happens? What, what happened? I, I don't know. That is my purpose, to tell you the path. And she reaches up with a hand, touches your face, and you feel this flood of information, like raw data streaming into your mind. You see uh, a great ocean that you know to lie between Gisela and the Hawkstorm Archipelago. You trace it to a, a huge volcano erupting from the sea and a path underneath, a hidden path, Near the base of the volcano underwater, there is a door engraved with Solvin's mark. Oh my God, cool. It needs your matrix to open it. Cool. Um, you see the path laid out before you and some sort of activation code, uh, that, uh, a series of gestures that you'll need once you enter the facility. That's how you access the Prime. Wow, okay, cool. Um, and in Herald, just, you see it just hold its head like, so many lives. I've taken so many lives. I'm sorry. It seems, and then just goes silent. It seems completely appalled, disgusted with itself. It just seems to curl up like she brings her knees, wraps her head around her halo, and just is muttering to herself. Seems to be in deep pain. Um, with the knowledge of all the lives, the guardian energy she's taken to keep herself alive. You know, those memories haven't gone away. She just is now brought back to a point of she understands how awful that is. Um, and she now has that with her. Uh, the echo kind of <laughs> floats down, rests next to her. Uh, I take this as an opportunity to uh, start again, start fresh. How can I? How can I when I have done so much? I have done more than even our old enemy has done. 
I serve the great Crimson Star. I've made it stronger somehow. You're in a difficult situation. We've, we've all been in difficult situations. We've all done things we didn't want to do. I've... Not like this, Sentry, sentry Unit. Not like this. Thank you for saving me. But you must go. You must go find the Prime. The, the future of our kind relies on it. It's trapped. It, it cannot leave Volcanos. The Matrix is dying, are, are just disappearing. They need to reconnect with the Prime. You must go, you must. Okay, why don't you come with us? I cannot face, I cannot face the Prime after what I've done. But sure. I cannot face anything after what I've done. But this could be a step towards redemption. Delivering Sentry back to the Prime. I... She doesn't deserve the life she's got now. I don't. You are right. I don't deserve it. It's stolen. I've stolen so much. Please take it. And she looks at Lucius as you've said that. Like, she looks up at you, this pulsing like, please, take it back. Take it back. I don't want this. I don't want it anymore. Can you help Sentry? Sentry's dying. Finding the Prime will save Sentry. If she's losing, if you are losing your Matrix... I am. Fine. Go to him. It will restore you. It, it will make you much stronger. It will give you the power to stand against Callus. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. And she just looks, yeah, she looks up at Lucius like, take it back. What are the rest of you doing? Ayla Quill? Uh, <coughs> I mean, I'm... I mean, Quill's obviously in pain, I'm guessing. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've got a broken arm and I'm sort of... Ambling Hobbling. Over, but after, like, Nova said that we have to leave now because those two just vanished. Um, Ayla's probably looking around more mm -hmm. than anything, just keeping an eye out. You know what? Strangely, there's no cries of feral guardians. You don't hear any immediate threat. Did the pulse sort of, like, wash over the city, or...? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. You should move before anything else comes back here. Yeah. We need to get Sentry to the Prime. Go. You should go now. Leave. Sentry now knows the way. She knows the code to access the facility. And she kind of begins to stand up, kind of holding her echo close. And she looks up and sees the, the Temple of Siaska. I know what I need to do. And begins making her way towards the steps leading up. In that case, it's time for us to go. If they're coming back, then we need to get out of here. She's going to kill herself. Lucius is right. The life she had wasn't hers. You just hear like... Doof, Everyone doof, deserves doof. a chance of redemption, Quill. Not after this. Not after this. She served her purpose. To take her life would be to serve the Crimson Sun. So I'm not going to take it. It's not my place to interfere with the ways of Guardians. Sentry. She looks down. Her. You go after her. Okay. So you rush up the stairs. She kind of reaches the doors and these stone doors opens them and you see inside the temple of Siaski here is ruined but still part of it has remained this place of tranquility and serenity uh, a great stained glass window at the front um, as the sun is beginning to rise as you've been fighting throughout the night it's kind of coming through the city of glass and it hits the stained glass and it's almost like a single beam leads down to a large open altar with a single statue of Siaska, um, kind of welcoming, as if a mother welcoming home children. And she stands, uh, the herald stands at the entrance of the temple as you kind of reach to her. Um, she doesn't say anything as you reach her, um, but kind of turns and you can, you can sense the sadness, the sorrow in her. Um, I, I cannot face the prime century. Not after everything I have done, all the lives I have taken, the, the stolen time. We all fear 
what happens to us to take that from so many young guardians it is it is not what I was meant to do we live a strange life and our life our lifespans are admittedly shorter than I'd like it to be which probably makes us do weird things and makes us do things that we probably regret doing in order to make sure we fulfill our purpose but there was a time when I had to make a choice and I I let one of my friends die to save the life of another and the life I saved they some might have thought that they weren't worthy of that either, but pe we can change. People can change. People can redeem themselves. Come with me. Come with us. Take me to the prime. And then consider that your purpose fulfilled. I'm sure it will be fine. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Nat 20 on the first... <sighs> Oh. Damn. Oh, damn. Nothing is really said for a moment. She turns, she looks at Siaska, the welcoming arms. Turns back to you. Gets on one knee. Broken wings kind of still fluttering and flickering, but one half is now golden light. I pledge myself to you, Century of Solvent. Until my debt is repaid, I will be your herald. Help me. Help me make this right. I will. Thank you. I, I couldn't let another one of my kind go down like that. Okay. Yeah. And she kind of nods and stands up with you. I give her a hug. There's this moment where she doesn't even seem to know what to do and then just kind of leans in, places one hand on your back and presses against you. Yeah. As the sun begins to rise over Kamina City, or the ruins thereof. Can I ask, so with my eye, yes. uh, scrying is a semantic component, but it's my eye. No, yeah, you can still use your eye as, as you always have. Cool, can I scry on Maximilian? <laughs> Yes, you can. Ooh. I believe he gets a saving throw, or can you read it out for me? Uh, I mean, you remember see. doing this as Cam, right? Yeah. So. yeah. It's oh. a wisdom save, isn't it? I he think makes it is. a there's wisdom like, save. But there's like modifiers. That you yeah. are My knowledge is. Am I familiar with him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Then he you has are. minus five. Okay, and you don't have anything of his, so. He does have something of yours. Yeah, he's got my fucking elemental. <laughs> Thing is, is he knows that it's risky to summon them, they can go berserk, so... Is there like a piece of armor laying around, or...? You can go and get one if you like. There were parts of it torn off in the alleyway he was fighting. Oh, I'd have to go into the alleyway though, right? Yeah, but there's no... no nothing seems to be I down there. I can grab it. Could I? Sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. if I do, then so I... So you go and find a piece of his armor, and bring yeah. it back, so that brings Another it to minus what? four. So minus nine total. Minus nine, and the spell save is... It's a wisdom 15. <laughs> you see the familiar rush of gray fog overcome you as your vision races up into the air, into the sky, beyond the cradle, oh. out into the astral space to a long, dark, black warship the biggest you have seen a flagship mm -hmm. it races through and it arrives the scrying sensor into a chamber where it takes a moment to focus I believe it lasts 10 minutes you see a furious Maximilian Taldros uh, arguing with Dana. Uh, and you overhear, how could you? I gave them a vow. It was no right of yours to make that decision. We should have helped them. Maximilian, you know our orders. I wasn't gonna let you make friends with the enemy. We have what, we know what we had to do. Besides, I'd already attacked them as you wanted, trying to defeat that corrupted thing. It was still no right. 
They were honorable at least to that. We should have fulfilled our, our, our uh, vow to them. Uh, she just kind of throws like, ah, the Knights of Gideon are all the same. And she kind of storms off. And you see him just kind of like, ah, kind of slam a wall in anger. Um, and take a moment, he kind of begins hanging up his weapon and his armor. Um, when a familiar figure appears. No. Yeah, I don't oh. think it would be. A small 14 year old girl oh, appears shit. at the doorway. Dark hair, dressed now in a very elegant purple dress, but kind of ends above her thighs with then trousers and boots. She appears at the doorway, and you know that it is Valor. I heard you. I heard you met my friends. I, I know you did. I, I saw it. He looks down like, ah, oh, my lady. And he bows deeply, kind of like, serves to her. Uh, you are familiar with the, the ones that were mentioned, yes? She's like, yes, they saved me. Uh, my, f my father spared them. It's like, yes, I am familiar. I, I, I did. How are they? Are, are they well? They are, yes. They all seem to be in, uh, some perhaps a little battered, but they are well. They fight, they fight very well, honorably, as you told me they would. Good. Max, and then the scoring ends. Oh! So they're not... Hmm, okay, so they're not reinforcing then. That's what I was hoping for. Didn't, like, didn't seem to be. I, mean, I was just going to go there and he was just like, All right, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Get down there! Nope. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Doesn't, yeah. I mean, you never got the intent that their mission was to try and, like, you know, invade the city of Glass. Yeah, I guess, but in knowing that where we are now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, yeah. I mean, you guys, like, yeah, like, you didn't give them any reason to, like, retaliate. Like, if anything, yeah. like, Dana broke Max's right. vow to you. He probably owes you one. Well, if anyone's going to go running off and just being like, well, we saw them, they're down there, go get them. It's Dana. Nope. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe, but there was no sign. They seemed to be almost like in a private conversation. Like, yeah. you know, and it was some time after they teleported away that this, you know, looked like they'd been arguing for a while. Hey, Valor's cool. Valor's alive. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, my question now is, what would you want to do? The Herald is just kind of silently follows behind uh, Sentry. Um, the Temple of Siaska is open up above you. I don't know if any of you want to go in there, if there's any parts of Kamina City you want to try and explore, but for now, you seem to be safe. We've heard that there's treasures around, <coughs> haven't we? Yeah. Around the city. Yeah. I mean, it's a big city. It would take a long time, and you don't know if there are still feral guardians out there, but for now, this immediate area, and you can see there's a few buildings around you. There seems to be kind of like some little buildings Have you could scout. Look and see. What Anywhere in particular you want to search? The temple, or do you want to try some of the other buildings? It's hard to tell what these buildings were, because they're all mainly ruins now. If Sentry and the other Guardian, or if they're still in the temple, then I will avoid that and go to a different one. Sure. Cool. Yeah. You begin sifting through the rubble. Uh, make an investigation check for me. Can I take a short rest while this is going on? Sure. Mm. Oh, one. Yeah, I mean, Ayla's <laughs> not the most amazing. You kind of go in and you start picking up rocks and like kicking stuff over, but it just appears to be like an old ruin, right? This place looks like it was maybe picked apart for a long time. Um. Hmm. Guys, if there's shiny things that might help us, you know, fix like holes in ships yeah, well, in the future and stuff, like I can't pick money. Much up. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Yes, your friend here does seem to be pretty injured. Yes, so out of the city, back to the airship would be good. But I scryed on our good friend, Maximilian. Uh, I don't think they are coming after us. Or at least Dana might be, but he's not. Good. Yeah. Also saw Valor. You did? Yes. Is she okay? She's actually very well. Um, dressed in some Starbane-like clothing, sure. And she did call him her father, but tentatively, but... But she's okay. He, she was asking after us. She's okay. Oh, that's good. Um, and at least Maximilian is, a, is kind to her, is a, a good protector. Um, so she has him, at least. I think if he wasn't, he'd die. Yeah. 
Yes, I, I just mean if, if there's anyone we'd want to be looking after Vala, it's the person we know to at least be honourable. He gave us a vow and he's stuck with it. He's a good person, he's just on the wrong side. He is, and I'm going to do a quick glance at the Herald. Herald is like very downcast, just following behind Sentry. Like, doesn't, doesn't engage. I'm going to keep my distance from the Herald, okay. I think. Yeah. I mean, you were advocating her death, but sure. Yeah. Oh, well. well. <laughs> so, um, unless there's anything you guys want to do, I'm assuming you're going to make your way back to the, the ship. Cool, let's get you back, back to the ship. Yeah, okay. let's will, get a rest. I will assist getting Quill back. Yeah, Rammer will help I as well. I can probably just carry him. Carry him. He's no, pretty light. I'm not dead. He's made of hollow yeah, bones. Yeah. I'll tell Rammer that it appears as if we've uh, vanquished any sort of threat in City of Glass. Certainly you seem to have dealt with um, the cause of whatever's driving these guardians here. Uh, so I think that perhaps I can start leading my forces in to try and clear out any remaining guardians that are causing problems. Um, but as agreed, if, if I find anything of value, I'll make sure I split it with you. Uh, I would have been very dead if you hadn't taken care of this, so I feel like I owe you. Uh, if you do wish to get your friend fixed up and you need any supplies, head to Imixan. It's a big city not far from here. There'll be somebody who can tend to, to Quill. Uh, uh, just, I'm a bit, there's one thing which concerns me. My princess, uh, the government, told me not to investigate these ruins, that I was not to let anyone enter. But that research team that was studying the Echo, you called it. I mean, they've been here for at least a year, which means someone in my government knew that they were there. Working with them. I think so. I hate to say it, but there's a reason that they put scum like me on the outskirts to protect it, because they know that ultimately there wasn't probably anything I could have done. Government's lying, Charles. Mm, especially mine. Uh, the Sanzizian Commonwealth has interesting politics. You should be careful. But Imixan is a big city, it's a trade city, so a few travelers won't be amiss. Just don't get involved in anything too political. Well, if you do find any more research stations or anything, then please let us know. Well, as far as my government is confirmed, uh, we're not allowed in here, right? So we wouldn't have found anything. I can always send it to you privately. But I don't really, I mean, I don't have a way of communicating with you. I mean, I could try and send some stuff via the Messenger Guild, perhaps, or? Yes, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, that trustable, right? Who knows? I mean, it? you would know the best. I, I'm trustable. Okay. Very cryptic. <laughs> Very wonderful. I assume they, I don't, okay. Trust nobody. I, Br Just Brooks do it by before. yourselves and don't run anything <laughs> many, through many all. times. <laughs> mm. Oh yes, no, absolutely. I'm not trusting them with a shred of this now. Plus also, somewhat hoping I'll find vast amounts of money hidden in these ruins. And then I'll be rich and I'll leave. <laughs> I hope you And buy my that. own island. That'll be nice. Mm. Okay. I say we take evidence of this research with us and yes. out the government. Yes, sure. So we can head back to the, the, the base station that we were at before. Uh, gather up some supplies there. It's not far from here, I think. Um, and it seems to be that for the time being, the death of, or the turning, the, I don't know what we're calling this, and he gestures at Harold, uh, has driven off these guardians for now. Uh, they're probably still around, but we might be safe. Might be. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. And then he begins leading you off. Let's go. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can make your way back to the, the research station where the prism went, that was holding the echo in and... Um, I mean, there wasn't really much to recover. It looked like Max had taken most of it, but there's definitely like um, some evidence of Starbane's, you know, rec like uh, remnant forces were here. You can take like some of the, um, uh, you know, bits of armor and stuff that the researchers were wearing, like some emblems and stuff like that, but there's not really much left to find. Mm. Um, apart from that, are you just wanting to head back to the airship? Are you just going to book it straight back to the airship? Do you want to try and plunder through any ruins or... We'll just say goodbye to Rook before we go. 
Oh yeah, so yeah, you want to go over to the body and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can move over to his body, and you can see that yeah, the the feral state has definitely warped him. Parts of him have rusted. His robes are all tattered and broken. His armor, his plating has been stained with blood, um, quite severely. Harold can't even look at him. Yeah. She just can't even look at any of the feral guardians around. She just looks at the floor or looks um, at your back basically as she follows. Um, but you see Rook there and his kind of broken Solvin royal shield and his tatters, tabard, and things like that. Um, and you just see his hand kind of outstretched where he had <coughs> let the uh, sword, Her Majesty's Rose, fall. Um, if you'd like to, you can add Her Majesty's Rose into your inventory. Oh, okay. Make sure oh. you pick up your axe, by the way. I'm, yeah, I'm going to assume you pick up your yeah. battle axe yeah. as well. Okay, new item. That's, that's a treasure. It should be in there if you search for it. Her Majesty's. Uh, mm. We'll do it in a minute. We'll do it. Cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess it's uh, back to uh, research station. I mean, I'm I'm just. Oh, I've got it. Following oh, wait, no. Her point. Lady's Rose. <laughs> oh, maybe I called it something different. It's supposed to be Her Majesty's Rose, but. It's a long sword. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Cool. Why did I not call it right? <laughs> Why am I dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that is a sword for century. Like she can use it just fine, right? I mean, it's a long sword. Anybody could use it. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, with a sword and shield. Like, yeah, it was it's a long sword, yeah. It's not a great sword, yeah. That's not letting me add it. I keep getting a session timed out thing. Boo. All right. Well, um, I'm assuming that over time you will attune to it. Yeah. Um, so I will tell you that the, this beautiful long sword appears to be a mithril blade with a golden hilt of leaves and vines and a ruby carved into a rose as the pommel. Only two of these beautiful swords were made and each were given to a protector guardian of Her Royal Majesty, Queen Astoria of Solvin. Wow. It is a plus uh, one uh, sword, long sword at the moment. Cool. Um, it deals an additional d4 of piercing damage, uh, which manifests as the mithril blade kind of sprouting thorns as it strikes. Um, it also gives you proficiency and persuasion skill. Um, and also, once per day, you can cast the spell Warding Bond. Uh, oh, warding, sweet. Yeah, uh, warding. Awesome. We'll nice. bond with it. Amazing. Cool. And then we'll sort that out like, after the stream. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. TYTY. You travel back through the ruins. Uh, it's long. It takes you about another day to travel back through the ruins. Like it's kind of getting to nightfall as you emerge back towards uh, the airship. Um, it's not been a lot of time, so you can still see that uh, Rama's crew are still in the process of helping repair the airship, as are your own crew working on the repairs. The hull has at least like a patchwork series of frames and timbers that ho kind of hide the giant hole, but the interior is just still a mess. Um, it's enough that you can fly without stuff falling falling out. Um, <laughs> wow. And about, I'd say, maybe 25, no, let's say about 35 hit points of the hull have been restored, but it's still damaged. It's still got a gaping hole in it in some parts. Um, I think before we get to the ship, yeah. or just as we arrive, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask Sentry to step aside. Sure, yeah, yeah. Then this you go. Sentry, I'm struggling with this, Herald. You see something I do not, so I, I hope you can allay my concerns. Okay. She lives on the lives of others. She did. She does now. She stands there because she took the lives. What do you see in her? Redemption. She can, she can change. I know she can. I believe she can. Does she deserve it? Do any of us? How many lives have we taken to get to where we are now? But not innocence. Not those lured under false pretenses. I agree we have taken lives, but for a greater purpose, her purpose, sure. I, I think she felt finding you was more important than their lives, but who's to decide that? Siaska or a herald? I don't know. But she, you, can, you can see, you can see how, how she feels. It, I don't think she'll want to do it again. I hope not. However, I just want to know one thing. We both shared those memories of her echo. 
her first decision to take a life, to prolong her life, was that ferality, if that's a word, was it Hadar or was it her? I feel like she was desperate. God, God, you understand, God, guardians, they exist to serve a purpose. They exist to do one particular task. And if they can't do it, then it plays on their mind in horrible ways. I think she was desperate. What is your goal, Sentry? And what lengths would you go to to fulfill that purpose? My goal was to protect my family. My family's changed, but I would sooner die than see you die before me. Thank you, Sentry. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Don't worry. Thank you. You see, during all of this, the Herald has just been staring at the ground, but there is, like, a brief... That sense of the kind of big golden eye looks at Lucius just for a fraction of a moment, and not in a, not in a malicious way, not in a, in a creepy way, but in a guilt-ridden, what he's saying, she, she agrees with Lucius. But she has sworn herself to Sentry now. And so there is this moment of wanting, almost feeling that she wants to say he's right, but stays silent. Uh, I'll briefly say to the Herald as I leave, mm. We've all made mistakes. I've made mine. And so we must make peace with that. You've been given another chance. I hope it's worth it. You are correct, High Elf. I do not know if I am worthy of another chance, but I do not intend to squander it. If Sentry thinks you do, then you do deserve it. You think of her very highly, as you should. She, and she looks, will be the greatest amongst us, all of us. I don't doubt it. I'll walk on the ship. Okay. Yeah, I think we're all doing that. Yeah, sure. You guys make your way back into the ship. Uh, Araya kind of like, hears you come and like leans over and is like, ah! You're not dead! <laughs> <laughs> Great! Uh, Quill has, has almost lost the other arm, though, yeah, so I mean... Close. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get Grelano! Grelano! Uh, I'm on two HP as well. I'm on <laughs> seven, yeah. I think yeah, I'm just hobbling. You're all, you're all yeah. beaten up and bruised yeah. and hobbling. Okay. I'm half you're half a fire. Fire. You're always okay. I mean, I'll like chew up outside the med bay. Okay. Just what like... for you on? I'm half. Okay. I'm half. So I'm alright. Yeah. Not too bad. But it took a beating. Uh, just as a point, that encounter was obviously very meant to be very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. Because you did have Max and Dana, but it was like, how long is it going to take them to finish? Yeah. They were fighting one of those swarms each, by the way. Nice. So they were like having to fight them on their own, and then they were going to come and help you as soon as they could. Um, Damn. That was intense, but like really fun. It felt good. Yeah, it was and very you, good. you guys did some clutch moves as well. Like you had some bad luck, and you made, you know, not without the knowledge, you moved into positions that made it easier for to get overrun, but. You still managed to come through, and like you know, that was a tough fight. Yeah, it was a really tough fight. Love burnt a tough all my spell fight. slots Love as well. It. And it's one of those things where I learn a lot as well. Like sometimes, like I think, oh, that's a really cool effect, and then when I see it in play, and Kim can't do anything for five rounds, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'll use this ability again. Kind of sucks <laughs> for player fun. Like it's not fun. No, it was fine because it meant I could use Dimension Door as a clutch. Like, yeah, it was yeah. a super clutch. Like, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. also it was she couldn't move. Because he was in the middle of the swarm. It was yeah. just a lot yeah, of different like, factors. Yeah, that really it was just sucked together. Stacked against. Yeah. Cool. Um, you make your way up onto the the, the airship. Um, the crew sees the desperate state you're all in, and that you now have another guardian following you around with like melted wings on one side, <laughs> and then these glowing, vibrant wings on the other. The golden halo. Um, they don't really say much. Like even Kamara, who sees Lucius, and obviously there were a lot of things left unsaid. But she just is like, it's good to see you again, Captain. Welcome back. I'm glad you're alive. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we've been doing our best to do the repairs. Uh, this man's friends have been very helpful. Uh, uh, it's going to take some time. And we don't really have the best supplies here to really patch her up. Can it take flight at least? Uh, all right, it's like, yes, we can definitely fly, but I would not recommend we get into any entanglements whilst we are 
in this state. Should we head to Imixan? Get Quill some help, get some supplies. I think we'd rebuild the ship quicker there as well. Which one's got the corrupted government? I'm losing track. That's yeah, Imixan, Imixan, but I mean, is there anything else around here? Do you know of anywhere else around here that we might be able to get both of those things? It's ma mainly the uh, just in exam. Um, I but... mean, you could fly north. It would take longer, but you could go to Mirskir and, and uh, Vos uh, Vosar. Um, and you know some places around there, but they're not really airship for any places. You could you could go to Katavag, the capital city that you never went to, um, um, or the Hawkstorn Archipelago, but you don't really know what kind of settlements are there. Yeah. Imixan is a big trade city that has an airship dock. That's the kind at of least, selling point. We have been at least we're many. aware of the crap that's going on there. If we go to another place we haven't been, whoa! Well, endless possibilities to fuck shit up. How about this? We, just, the... we fucked up by just flying over somewhere once, so you know. Well, I've, I think... I've got a grand idea. How about okay. we land in Imixan, get our ship repaired, get me repaired, and then we leave and we don't entangle ourselves with government. That's yeah. great we plan. don't go Let's down yes. dark alleyway. Yes. Yeah. And do you know what? We can do this as a whole big montage stuff. It's only going to take you like a couple of days to get to Imixan. Greylano will basically help start taking care of Quill. She can't really heal. She can heal minor injuries, but things like a broken arm, she isn't like a high level spellcaster, but she can do things like medical care and she does. And it, it slowly, be, you know, she gets it like properly bandaged and splinted and everything else. Um, you all get long rests, you all get to have your hit points back. There's no immediate danger in this area, really. Um, you fly back to Imixan, um, you can land, you have proper trading, you have proper materials, like Lucius is a legit captain, you just have to land, pay a fee, which is part of your cost of running the airship, um, you dock, and now it's just going to cost you money to repair the ship and do and buy any supplies that you want and do anything like that. Um, to repair the ship, it will cost you about 70, double, 140 gold for the just pure repairing the hull. The interiors, you're going to need to buy new furniture, but that's not super pricey. You're probably looking at about another 50 gold for like new beds, new desks, new table, that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, then it's up to you whether you want to kind of like try and spend more money on upgrades, buy potions, do any of that stuff. Um, Imixan's a big enough town that you can definitely try and do that in. You can try and sell some stuff. Can you I can do some downtime if you want. <laughs> can I, can I Everyone. go Everyone. out and yeah. try? They don't sell Featherfall tokens oh, damn it. here. It's not Sky City. Okay. Can I go out and try and buy like a stack of parchment from Nova? Uh, yes, you can. Because she probably would have lost it all in her bedroom, right? She did, yes, she did, yeah. Um, in terms of fixing Quill up, either... Now, you know that if you want to fly off somewhere else, you're probably going to have weeks of travel, and maybe that's enough for Quill's arm to fix. If you want to get his actual arm healed, healed, it's 500 gold. Could like, I, magically. Could I learn the spell? So, you know I have that ability to learn spells. What level spell can you learn up to, though? Uh, or, like, level can you cast up to? Because it's currently Greater Restoration is a fifth level spell, I think. And that's basically the same thing as the injury spell. Um, yeah, I think it is. Now. It's called Book of Ancient Secrets. Yeah, no, I know the ability, but it, it allows you to two, learn ritual spells. Two level one. But you can you only can cast add, them. You can add other ritual spells. When mm -hmm. you find a spell, you can add it to the book if the spell's level is equal to or less than half of your warlock level rounded up. Right, but to cast a ritual spell, it needs this. to be of a level you can cast. That's just generic spell casting rules. Okay. So what level spells do you normally cast at, uh, like four? as a warlock? Fifth. Okay, if it's fifth, you can learn it. Well, you can four. learn it anyway, but you can't cast it, okay. So you can inscribe it. I think it costs you, was it 200 gold per level of the spell? Uh, I think it was a little bit cheaper than that. Sorry, it might be 100 I gold. Off. I just clicked off a second ago. That's okay. I mean, we're about to get like four levels anyway, so I'll just cast it when, when we get the four Because that's what I was thinking, is if I learn it. Four dings, I, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Quadruple ding. Maybe. We did just dings. Uh, oh, it mega did dinger, just right? ding. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two hours, 50 GP. Per level of the spell. For each level of the spell, the transcription takes two hours and 50 GP. So okay. So eight so, hours and 200. So oh, no, it's fifth. It's fifth level, so, so 10 hours and 250. 250 gold, yeah. So you can definitely spend 250 gold to learn it, but you won't be able to cast it until you can cast fifth level spells. Okay. And it's 500 to fix him up. And it's 500 to actually, um, the actual material component cost of the spell in things like un unguents and incense and, you know, leaf wrappings that you have to bones. wrap around the injury. Re yeah, bones that you kind of liquidate and refill. Oh, I was joking. No. Nope. <laughs> Is it like that Skelligrow stuff that you get in Harry Potter? Very much, feeds, yes. Like, 
Um, minor happening? injuries, if you want to learn the minor, minor injury, heal minor injury at the same time, Nova. Um, that's only a second level spell, so that's only 100 gold. Is that something I would it's have worth access to? As a cleric, it's something you have access to, Quill. Oh, ah. so you could do cool. So you can do it. Okay, yeah. I need to get that in. Um, so it'll cost you money to put in your spell. It's worth though. learning something How like that anyway. Well, the... How much is a ceremonial gold dagger with a pearl handle? Well, uh, it was taken from the twilight. If you didn't relate down, you I didn't tell me. That's why. Oh, it was taken from the, the so twilight quarrels. Quarrels, yeah, we never. never we can sort that. this stuff out. It was about three thousand, I think. It was not three thousand. I remember uh, you saying three thousand. The obsidian statue of Starbane might be three thousand. I don't think we're selling that anywhere. So it's what just two it? things I need. Did to you know pay off the hundred gold for Quill's magic yes, circle I've yet? That okay. Um. I gave up. Right off the top of my head. In fact, you know what I can do? I will use. The treasure you potentially could have got from the City of Glass. How about that? Because uh, I actually have numbers of like how much treasure I was going to give you. Yes. I guess we've also left Rama, haven't we? All right. We didn't say bye. Whoops. To Rama. Let's say... Oh, yeah. Probably Our did. objects are about 250 gold. So the dagger was 250. The statue of Callus is 250. Trying to sell the statue of Callus. <laughs> do not try it in a major city. We can yes. definitely find a collector. Yeah. Yes, you will, but... A remnant collector. Yeah. And they would be all over that statue. We can sell it. So like don't forget, millions. it's going to be... Uh, what did I say? 100... No, I said 140 gold for the hull. And then 50 gold for all the materials. For the furniture. Inside. So it's about 200 gold to fix the edge. We've got 1,276 gold. Perfect. Nice. Or, uh, in total. total. Uh, to learn both spells is 350. And then the airship is. What about to get? 190, fixed? basically, for fully repairing. Are we paying airship. to get you fixed, or are we just learning spells? Uh, well, yeah, that's like, a learning the spell doesn't fix him. Yeah. yeah. Which one are we doing? But if we learn we the spell, we can use the spell. Yeah. We don't need you can do both. You can Plus pay to learn the spell and then have it still cast on Quill. Have it cast on him. Yeah. Uh, not Nova. No. Yeah. You can get like a cleric. Like yeah, they, no, Nova can't. Imixan has its own clerics and like temples to Atelicus and Zephyr and, and Hesper Starbane. and stuff like that. Shall we do all this math off? Yes. Yes. Stream? Absolutely. But, so, but are you paying to have Quill fixed? Or fixed. Not? So basically, if we. Learn... That's the major thing. I mean, I you've got the money to do it. I'm going to yeah. beg. <laughs> yeah, no, I think. I think we Please should... fix me. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's 500 gold to fix Quill, 350 should for both we leave spells him arm for Nova. <laughs> And then 190 for the airship. Yeah, we're Gucci. And then it gives you a little bit left over. Okay. Um, it gives us about 100, 200 left over. You can buy some regular healing potions. 360 healing. left over. So we're good. 360 left. You could buy one greater and two regulars, or you can buy, I think, six regulars for 300. The regulars. Six regulars. Six regulars for 300. Six. Nice. Regular, we're down 50, 50. to 60 then. So you have 60 gold in your whole has, group account. That has wiped us out. <laughs> I have 50. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think but we've I all got like, some weird amount that we haven't transferred. <laughs> Can everyone please put you might also a healing potion in your inventory? Magic items you can sell. Yay! Oh, some of you might do. have some. I mean, yeah, I think we can figure out... The, we, we'll do, we'll the do that after thing. I we'll just do, wanted yeah. to get like the healing quill, airship cost, and then everything else. Mm -hmm. My next oh, question... What next? Where are you heading? Okay, so... Okay. We know we need to take Sentry to the Prime, and we know where it is now. And Sentry can take us straight there, right? Uh -huh. Yes, it is also under the ocean. <laughs> but Nova's got, Nova's got a spell. Water breathing. And I can breathe underwater anyway. Yep. So okay, cool. We're fine. Right. We can do it. So is the plan to basically head to Volcanos? Is that in the same area as we saw Tiangong? Might be on the way. Uh, Might be on the way. I feel like the Hawkstorm. It was. The it Volcanos. was between here and Hawkstorm. Yeah. Let's take that conversation offline then. Sure. And we can. Well, but yeah, since, I mean, Sentry is high priority. So that's yeah. what we're doing yeah. next. So 100%. Sentry is the first thing. So And then, and on, then, the and back, then on the way back, Tiangong. Tiangong. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sweet. I will Very say that in the process of shopping, getting Quill healed, learning the spells, you're going to probably spend about two days in the exam. And also just like, you know, the cost of waiting for the airship to be repaired. They have shipwrights here, so it's quite speedy. Um, no major problems. Like, you basically avoid getting too involved. Like, people that are like, Adventurers, do you need a quest? No! And then you're like, fuck <laughs> off! Um, but none of that happens. You're basically... I also encourage everybody to wear 
cloaks, conceal their identities as okay. much as they can. Sure, yeah. And just keep yeah, on the down low. That. All right, yeah. No problem. And then, uh, uh, but I tell the crew to let loose and just enjoy yeah. this time of peace. Yeah, and I think the wolf pack especially you go and basically have like a funeral um, and things like that. They have like a, no, what's it called? Like a wake. Mm -hmm. um, and they, yeah, people have a bit of time uh, to rest. Harold doesn't really leave Sentry side. Uh, just constantly follows you around. Um, and yeah, you mm -hmm. then set off as you begin uh, probably about a week's journey across the open waves towards Volcanos current resting place of the Guardian Prime. Oh, oh, it's time to find the Prime, boys! And that is where we're going to end this week. Damn. Oh, what finally! Finally! Finally, it's right. Prime Can someone time. else read these donos while I desperately drink uh, some Red Bull? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, sure love when Shy and One donates, because they say, Hey guys, loving the series and the lore. Mark, I need your DM advice. I watched your 101 series to DMing and agree that all parties should be having fun. But how do I do that when my group are constantly bickering and fight over silly things? <coughs> Talk to them. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> you just got to have those conversations, you know? You got to figure out what people are bickering about and why and, and tell, remind people that it's a co-op game for friends. It's only game. Why you have game. to be mad? Yeah. Why you be mad? That's an off-table yeah, discussion, off -table I think. Thing. Like, yeah. I can't really offer too much advice because I don't know the people or the problems. That's just psychology. Yeah, right? it's just people. Ace of Thorns, oh boy, really needing both this stream and the VOD of last week, as this uh, has been the only relaxation day I've been able to get in the last week and a half, with my mother in hospital, oh, infections, shit. and now the flu. Oh, Sorry, Ace. Uh, <coughs> this small escape is precious, thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, Hope you, uh, thank, you. That thank you for the donation as well. Uh, Sheriff Ayer, uh, or Air maybe, um, when the only person rolling high and high rollers is Mark, you know it's going to get spicy in combat. Man. Spicy! Spicy, spicy. combat! It, today was crazy, and it's, it was. it's I, rolling here as a DM, natural 20, natural 20, natural 20. Yeah. If I play as a player in any other game, garbage, garbage, trash, trash, trash. It's but man. Sentry. That's what you yeah. have to Rihanna's rolls, they were amazing. The <laughs> I mean, you got the clutch rolls when you needed them. Yeah. yeah. That big crit and then the, the persuade, persuade at the end. Yeah. Cinematic. Good. Yeah. 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 Cinematic you, good rolls. Doodle Jewel. Mm. Hi, hi, rollers. Watching Lightfall uh, inspired us to get into 5e and start DMing. Four years later, and we were in a series on the official DMD oh, nice. channel. Oh, wow. congratulations. Um, just wanted to tell you all how much of an inspiration you are. Aww. Love from Max and Julia in Germany. Awesome. Wow, good job. Thank, Thank you very much. That makes you rivals. Bitter Shun. <laughs> <laughs> there are no rivals in DMD. <laughs> Astro Nation. Bonjour. Comment, allez vous? Uh, I wasn't able to catch up because my grandpa died like, uh, this week. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, man. That went... <laughs> yeah. That started on a bonjour comment and a vu. Yeah. Thank you for being awesome and so positive. It helps me a lot to get through it. Thank you again. Oh, You're welcome. Best to you, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a tro. Hey, High Rollers. As a currently transitioning trans woman catching up on High Rollers, I just wanted to thank Mark for including a trans character in the campaign. Hey, it really means more than you can know. It's making the world a world and the people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People are people. Are people people are people. Yeah. Goliaths um, are people. Yeah. Goliaths are people. Darth Day 41. Uh, I don't know what was worse, the worry of wondering if someone was going to die in that fight, or the fact that Mark just blatantly <laughs> threw that <laughs> car <laughs> This is Night Jars, right? Yeah. Love you, Night Jars. Love you. She said you set. Uh, Bayfeather. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Please, God. Holy fuck. Oh, no. Please, no. God, no. <laughs> see, that's the interesting part. Yeah, so that, that, could be, yeah, part. that could have been a lot of yeah, different parts. Yeah. Yeah. Samwise, 2450. Ah! I forgot to donate. And ah! Everything. My heart. I can't take it. Those rolls. Ah! This is just before the break. Or yeah. In, in uh, the break. Ah, yeah. After yeah. break. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Bandai Nenzai. These combat sessions are not good for my health. So many unlucky rolls. Starbane must have rigged the dice. <laughs> Nightjar. <laughs> Let's hope they manage to survive it to the end. Nightjar is Starbane. Oh. She's a secret servant. She's got night in her well, he, name. Well, Nightjar right. is basically his like, uh, uh, like, Sleep agent. Uh, yeah, like somebody who organizes like, his administrator. Yeah. She like yeah. arranges everything. Uh, uh, Raging Rhino one zero one zero one. Hello, high rollers. I've been dreading this battle all week for two reasons. One, they seemed ridiculously powerful, and it's been 26 episodes yeah. since anyone died. Thank you for that. Uh, also. And the first death was on episode 26. Oh, so I knew that fact, crap. but I didn't want to tell anyone because Ree looked stressed enough as it was. Yeah. She was so stressed. <laughs> I was, yeah, that was uh, stressed. And then finally, please don't stressed. die, Quill. You're in luck. I didn't. So we broke the curse. We broke yes. the curse. 26 curses. Uh, Zelda Zorian. 
The episodes have been amazing recently. Really needed this to help distract me and cheer me up a little bit. Oh, cheers, nice. bud. Oh, there you go. Uh, and Kenku noises with a big dono clank! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Varys uh, with no message, thank you very much. Sorry, I'm doing all these. Bandai Nenzai. Good. Uh, petition, uh, petition to start a therapy session for the HR players and characters. So many low rolls and natural ones. HR stats Strong. must be having a field day. Uh, Nova's been torn yeah, and burned. Be Quill messes up another arm and Sentry's battling her own people. Yeah. Everyone needs a hug. Yeah. Um, it's just D&D, isn't it? Yeah, just D&D. <laughs> Lol. Say that to Kim. And, and <laughs> Who sits HR... all week, like... <laughs> She's fine. Look, see? Yeah. <laughs> An HR group chat says... We love you all, Mark, Rhiannon, Trot, Kim, Katie. There we go. There I'm in there. And our favourite spell slot slut, Tom. <laughs> that's that's your t-shirt. Oh, that's the new t-shirt. Spell, spell slot, slot, slot slut. I didn't wow. use all my spell slots this time around. Uh, Mia Kitty can't watch today, but enjoy the session. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Enjoy the vod. <laughs> new Alex. A shield. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, I know, but so many I gotta play the thing, We've been man. saving through it. Uh, new Alex, through. just got back no, from no, work. No, just for him. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, just got back from work, so it'll be <laughs> VOD for me later tonight, but here's a little dono in expectation. You folks always make it a great end to the weekend. Thank you very much. And uh, Bandai Nenzai again. You've got, you got a touch! <laughs> you got the power! <laughs> <laughs> it's Sentry Prime Time and then this emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we can add auto guardians to the list of potential names oh for the God. party. Auto yes. guardians. Oh, yeah. Roll out. And Valor is safe and hopefully well. Uh, hope our new Herald friend doesn't ruffle any feathers. Epic Bongo Drum 69. Uh, <laughs> the best. <laughs> with, uh, <That's> so <laughs> 300 bits, thank you. Epic <laughs> 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 uh, Nightjar, <laughs> Nightjar <laughs> aka Starvane. Quill will be fine. He should have opposable toes on his tippy taps, so he can just use his wiggly toes to cast spells. Aww. Tippy <laughs> taps! Also, JFC. Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. I need to start scheduling therapy sessions after these streams. Too many feels, too much stress. Tippy taps. Huh. Oh, uh, oh, tippy to. Meme queen the maimer. Hey. Baby burbs blint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gifts after Empire, which I will be at. Uh, nice. Listen... For a Nivar Nivar singing thing. Halfling Camp. Oh, Love you guys. No. Oh no. Making moving easier. I'm moving also. It's hell. Watching Nightfall right now. Love Trail and Juto too much. But serious question, Trot, do you have a Nat 20? I clearly don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled with a disadvantage and got two ones. No, advantage and got two ones. Technically, my parents did. Finally, <laughs> finally, uh, Jamie. Love the stream. The sea is great, as I would love to see Araya board her brother's pirate ship he stole of her using the Storm Chaser and take all of the gold he has. Uh, Mochimo, smiley face, keep up the good word, especially Trotty. <laughs> he fucking needs it after this session. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I need new dice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so everyone. much, everybody who donated, who subbed, who supported us. Um, as always, if you like High Rollers, spread the word. Like That's actually one of the best things. You don't yeah. have to donate, you don't have to sub. The best thing you can do to support us is go out there, you tell more people that. to watch the show. Tell your friends, graffiti It's really your fucking great. This is literally <laughs> my favorite part of the week with five of my favorite people. Yeah. What? It's been great. This was a fucking great session. I'm glad. Good I know there's a lot of combat, but that was really, really fun. Very, very, very fun. Um, great fun. Check out, I think, uh, Pyrian is the featured streamer up next. I don't yes. know if he's streaming, but he's supposed to be. Uh, um, <laughs> we'll be on this week. Uh, Next week, rather. Um, Chaos Twins. That's it. Tuesday, Chaos 8 o'clock. Because we're going to play sports. Yeah. Sport. Um, so, monsters. Hat film stream, get Dead Nuts tickets. I stream on a regular basis now. I'm back Wednesday. Kim's back Dead Wednesday. Nuts. Dead Nuts. Dead I nuts. do nothing. Katie just works hard. <laughs> so there we go. Make Great. Yep. Thanks so much. Make Love you all. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye bye. Goodbye.